Boys. Boys, 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 boys. Boys. What's up, boys? We back. Once again. I know. You're probably wondering. Pokemon again, Joey? And to that, I say... Absolutely. <laughs> what else would I be playing? <laughs> we're catching Digimons. I mean, we're so close, guys. We're so close to finishing this game. Because last time... Hey, it's your favorite one-eyed biker again. Hey, yo, what's up, dude? One-eyed biker? <laughs> what does that mean? The grind never stops. Goddamn right. You goddamn right. But yeah, um, we're back with Pokemon. Last time we, uh... Last time we did quite a few of the badges. We finished all the gym badges. We've uh, finished all the titans. And now we basically have one badge left to get. And that is the final team star base. Um, and then we all we have to do is do the elite four. And uh, get all the Pokemon. Complete the decks. And then we are done. Hell the fuck yeah. I'm excited. Are you excited? Let's fucking do this. I got no plans today, so, uh, yeah. I'm good with streaming. So. <clears throat> so, so, so. We have got... We're right here, and we have to get... Uh, where is this final one? Where is this final Where the fuck is it? The fuck? Where's this final base? Am I tripping? Oh, there it is. Oh wait, 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 no. Oh, we have to. Oh, we have to do this first. I have one eye and ride a bike. It's pretty simple, Joey. Oh, do you? Oh, okay. Cheers. <laughs> oh, we have to do this first, I guess. Oh, okay. I guess we have to do something with the titans first. So let's go let's go do that first, I guess. Yeah, so we just finished all the titans and I guess we're finishing up Arvin's story. I think. I think that's how it is. Uh so now we are back back at the root of it all. Back at Poco Path. All right, let's see. Let's see what we have to do. Do I have to go to the top? Uh, no. What's happening? Hold on. Oh, it's an item right there. Oh yeah, we can climb walls now. That's so that's pretty hype. <laughs> uh, where the fuck's Arvin? Hello? Arvin? Where the fuck is he? What if we just climb the side? <laughs> fuck it. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> oh, the door. Right. <clears throat> oh, I guess this is open now. No vote of the last stream? No, it's there. Seriously, you beat me here? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, this is the lab. I used to come here to play all the time when I was a kid. Bet. There better be a good reason for calling us here like this. Let's find out. You gonna catch them all? Fuck yeah, I am, dude. Oh yeah, we're encountering the, the, the hot uh, Dilf professor, which turned out to be Arvin's dad. 
Everyone always says he's some kind of genius, absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My dad, that is. <laughs> My dad! But let me tell you, as a parent, he's the worst. All he ever does is work. He never comes home. He's <laughs> he went out to get milk and cigarettes five years ago, and I haven't seen him since. I don't have a single memory of him ever even playing with me, his own kid. Mabustiff's the only one who was there for me, always. Knock knock, bitch. Anyway, it's open now. Go on in. I just want to get this over with. Yeah, you know what? Dad's overrated. Dogs, goaded. I'm just kidding, I love you, Dad. <laughs> Sounds like a skill issue, Arvin. Wow. <laughs> Brutal Gachi. Oh, fuck. Hey, yo, he's not here? Seems pretty empty to me. Oh. Qua? Hey, yo, have we been debated? I need your help. What? Is he dead? Is is he dead? Hold on. I'm currently at the deepest point of Area Zero in the great crater of Paldia. I've been researching the unique Pokemon here for a very long time. I'm asking the two of you to lend a hand to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Turo's glorious research. The final step? There is something we need first. Something that can be found within that lab. What we need is the Violet Book. Violet Book? Wait, do you mean this book? Oh, you were holding it the whole fucking time? Ah, uh, so you took it from the lab, did you, Arvin? This expedites things. Bring the Violet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. Also known as... My asshole. I, pro <laughs> I promise that it will be an experience worth treasuring if you come. I must note, however, that Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokemon and outfitted with powerful cybernetic security systems. We will use armed force if you approach, just saying. Good luck. <laughs> it seems to me that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. You may take the time to gather some reliable allies before you come, if you need the feel. I mean, if you feel the need. I'll be awaiting you in the deepest part of Area Zero, wherever you arrive. Oh, okay. Dope. Area Zero. That place is bad news. It was down in area. If it was down in Area Zero that Mabustif got wounded in the first place, down in the Great Crater of Paldia. In all honesty, I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. I'll go. Are you gonna go? We might find that treasure, dude. What do you think? Our treasure, huh? Yeah, I suppose that was the assignment we were given. And I can't just stand by and watch while a friend heads off into danger on her own. So I guess I'm going to. Hell yeah, dog. Flip that fucking fringe. Let's get going. Size, I'd love to give Dad a piece of my mind. I'm gonna fuck him. Up. <laughs> Alright then, Zoe. Outside. We're gonna have a Pokemon battle to see if... What? We're having a fucking Pokemon battle? Really, dog? Mostly to see if I'm ready or not. Let's go. If I had a nickel for every time I've seen Turo Goat see Art, it'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. What I want to ask you, Gachi, is why the fuck do you know that? You're looking up that shit, dog? Not to king shame, but that's... But I'm king shaming you. <laughs> I 
Okay, so I have to fight Turo. Um... We should be okay, right? I don't know what level his Pokemon are, but let's find out, I guess. Excellent, you're ready to go, right, my boss stiff? Bruh. Yep, my boss stiff says he's ready. You're battling with my boss stiff? Okay, I mean, I'm gonna kill him. Like, actually beat him to the ground. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can see why you'd be worried. But my but oh, he's so cute. But my buddy here is bursting with energy. <laughs> he's been a nut. <laughs> you never know, he was so weak just a little while ago. Yo, he's, he's he's fucking he's hashed out, dude. He's 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 got he's got all that good cush in his body. Well, leave me alone. Always whining at me, wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. It's been so long, I nearly forgot. But he always did love to battle. That's how he fucked himself up in the first place. Even if I was always lost to that student council girl, the battle fanatic one. Oh, the yonder one. Yeah, I know her. Anyway, my point is, there's no need to worry. Alright, if you say so. We're a brand new Arvin and Mabustiff, and we're feeling audacious, or maybe herbaceous? No, I'm saying stoners. Let me give you a taste of what we can do. Alright, we're fighting Arvin. I think it's the first time we're fighting Arvin, right? Or is it the second time? I don't remember. Second, right. Alright. What level is he, is what I want to know. Does it not say? 58? Oh, fuck. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> this might be bad. Wow, that was a crit, really? Oh, we might be a little bit on the level, dude. Might be a bit on the level. Let's, let's find out. Have you fought the Elite Four? No, not yet. We have not fought the Elite Four yet. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, he might clap me here. Let's find out. How many Pokemon does he have? Six? Garganackle. Uh, yeah, that's the... Is that the... What is that? The ground rock type, right? Ground rock, so probably Mary Jane with a flower trick should do it. I didn't realize we're that on the level. I mean, it makes the game much more fun. Minecraft man! Oh shit, he's level 62. Alright. Oh, I'm faster. Skrrr. Nice. Holy fuck. I think I can get him though. Yep, I got him. You gotta love the uh, guaranteed crit. <laughs> Nice. Scovillain. Uh, what is that? A grass fire? Grass fire means that, what, ground type should do it? Ground, right? <laughs> no, Scovillain is the, the, the pepper one. I'm pretty sure he's a grass fire. So... Ground should get him. Or poison. Poison is good? Okay. Alright, let's go, Poopa. Okay. Still poison jab. Oh, fuck, it's faster than me. Ah! Poopa! Fuck him up! Oh shit, it's gonna kill me, isn't it? It's gonna fucking kill me! Uh, mm, okay. Okay. 
Let me... Okay, let me bring out a poor mod and I'll do a revival blessing on it. I don't know if poor mod's faster or not though. Okay, poor mod's faster, cool. Oh, Zen headbutt's a first turn move, really? Damn, poor mod's fast as fuck. Miss. Yes, nice. Okay. In that case, I will... He's trying to fucking fire blast me, dude. Nice! Oh, with the crit as well? Shit! <laughs> Alright. Very good. Uh, Toad Scroll? What's Toad Scroll? I don't know, but it sounds like a grass type, so I could just fire. Is Toad Scroll the. It's grass, right? Oh, it's the grass tentacle. Oh, we can see what this looks like now. We can finally see what this looks like. That sounds like an infection. <laughs> we can finally see what this guy looks like. Ew! Okay, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh my lord! Please. Please heal up. <laughs> my fucking boy! Let's go. God damn, Cerule Edge. Oh my god, you have a cloister? Really? Fuck, what am I gonna do with a cloister? It's ice water, so... Thunderfang? Yeah, closer is ice water, right? So fire's not gonna do anything. I guess... Pormot should be okay. Yeah. I think a Thunderfang should do it. Oh, he's gonna be so fucking beefy. Oh, Cloyster, what a fucking OG, dude. I love Cloyster. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay, poor Mott, you might, you might end up being the sacrifice here. Unless you can clutch it with a crit. No. Okay, you did well. You did well, poor Mott. It's all right. You did well. Okay. Uh, in that case... Let's go with Annihilate, because fighting is strong against ice, I believe. So low kick should do it. Nice, got it. Okay. Alright, one more. My boss stiff. My boss stiff is... Normal? Is my boss stiff normal type? I don't know, let's give it a go. Oh, it's dark. Uh... So what would be effective here for dark? Dark is what? Fairy and fighting? Okay, low kick should do it. Is fairy strong against dark? Fighting bug and fairy, okay. Let's go, Arvin! I don't know why I'm cheering you on, but what the fuck is that? Is that what the dark terror looks like? That's sick as fuck! The Dark Terror looks sick! Oh my lord, really? Okay, this is bad. Uh, in that case, I'm going to Max Revive Pormont. So I can do a couple of, uh... Alright, you did well, Annihilate. You're good. Alright. Let's bring our Pormont, do a couple of bomb thrusts on it. 
and then we should be good. Hopefully we should be faster. Yep. 10 levels lower, still faster. <laughs> Come on, do it a couple more times. My boy. Nice, 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 nice. That works, that works. Oh my lord. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess fairy, huh? Hopefully Play Rough can take it out. Hopefully Play Rough can take it out. Please be faster. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Easy clap. Nice! Easy! Super on the level, but we still got the dub, boys. Good shit. Hell yeah. Dang, this is the strength of someone who could take down those Titan Pokemon, huh? Hell yeah, dog. Yeah, much as I hate to admit it, I do think we're gonna need some more support. The Pokemon in Area Zero are super strong, and there are all sorts of weird machines there, too. I'd say we need at least two more people, somebody with some champion rank level skills, and somebody who can deal with crazy tech. Maybe Nimona? The student council, girl! Yeah, she'd be perfect for the job, but I doubt she'd give us the time of day unless one of us was on her level, as in champion rank level. But well, we gotta do what we gotta do. Whoever you think could be help, just try getting in, uh, getting in good with them. We'll see if we can't get a team together. Get in touch if you make progress. I'll do the same. Okay, so... Alright, so the Area Zero part, I assume, is like, kind of the... Not the post-game, but like, once you finish all three paths. Le Path of Legends complete. Hey, Pog. Let's go. Alright, cool. Nice. Oh, and he healed all guys up. Sweet. Alright, um... Dope, dope, dope. So, that means we finished that storyline. So now let's go finish the other storyline by completing... Where the fuck is it? Where the fuck is the... Where's the last base? Qua? Oh, there it is. So we gotta go here. So, oh god, we have not explored this area at all, huh? Uh, I guess the easiest way would just to be go from here, right? <clears throat> okay. Off we go. Oh, hold on, get you. Alright, so it's fighting, which means, uh, psychic flying, right, is the best way to go. We have Salamence, who knows fly. Uh... We need some psychic-type moves. Hold on. Fairy's also good? Okay. Bad. Do we have any psychic moves we can teach anyone? No. They can't learn any psychic moves, really? Can none of our Pokemon learn psychic moves? <laughs> really? <laughs> the Mons near the base is a good place to farm for levels. I bet. So Rulers can learn Psycho Cut. Uh, stored power, no. Yeah, I would like to teach Cerule Edge, like, a different type move. Uh, rest. So we we'll can learn Psycho Cup by leveling up. What level does it need to get to? Uh, 
What level does it need to get to? So, can someone look that up? Fifty-six. Oh, that's that's not far at all. We could probably we could probably get to that by the time we get to the base, to be honest. All right, let's go do that then, shall we? If there's a ton of Pokemon that are around, just kind of, uh, if there's a ton of Pokemon around the area where we can just kind of uh, farm, then uh, we can just do that. The fuck are you doing on the <laughs> thing there? Should we? Let's bring Cerulea to the front. You hear about how they are gonna butcher the new Trigun adaptation? They compared it to the MCU and said they are going anime original? Wait, what? <laughs> they're gonna butcher the new Trigun adaptation? They compared it to the MCU and said they're gonna make an anime original? What does that mean? Oh, that's a very low level Appleton. Oh damn, he's beefy. <coughs> he's beefy as fuck, dude. Stop it, Appleton! Hey yo! Is that my boy Ross with the raid? My boy Ross coming in with the raid! Thanks, Ross. Love you, boo. What were you doing today? You playing Pokemon or what? Hello, hello everyone from Ross's stream. Thanks for coming out. Uh, we're playing some Pokemon, so if you want to hang out, please feel free to stick around. If not, uh, thanks for thanks for coming out. What was Ross doing today? Can we climb this thing? Let's find out. <clears throat> Drawing Pokemon and mixing them together? Damn. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, we should probably actually head to this as a destination first. Yeah. Oh, I guess this is the new area, huh? Let's go check out this new area. Oh, this guy. Have I caught you yet? No, I have not. Okay. <coughs> Fuck. The music is sick here. Um, I might end up killing you here, but let's see. Oh no, you're good. Alright, sick. Get fucked. Is he a bug type? I always forget. The shop is bug. Dark steel, okay, never mind. He looks like an insect, so I, I, I always don't know if it's actually an insect or not. <laughs> Fuck's sake.
I just want to catch you, dude. Can you stop being so difficult? I really don't want to bother evolving my one, so I just want to catch you. For fuck's sake. You can't hit me, dog. Oh my lord. Why are you being so difficult? Let's use Pokeball. I believe in Pokeball supremacy. Oh my god, I was about to fucking say, dude. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, well, fuck you then. I'll try and use a, a quick ball. Alright. Let me try another quick ball again. Oh no, the Pokeball has failed me many times in this playthrough, don't worry. That is uh, definitely not the first time it has failed me. No, it's just not going to let me catch it with a quick ball, dude. Alright, let me try... Let me try Lava Plume. It might get it down a little bit further. Nope, it just killed it. Okay. Never mind. You know what? Fuck you, Bishop. I don't even give a fuck. Don't even give a fuck. Agility? Uh, no. No. Get rid of agility. Uh, there's a little... Hello. What's this guy? Do I have this guy? I do. Okay, never mind. I'll just get rid of you then for the experience. I saw a Heracross earlier? Where is it? Oh, hold on. I want to catch it. Fuck yeah, Cricketoon. Oh my god! It's just not working today, guys. I don't get it. Alright, let's try and use Shadow Claw. Oh, okay, nice, 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 nice. That's good, that's good. Oh no! Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, I have three turns to catch- I have two turns to catch this shit. Alright, let's see. If not, I'm just gonna run. Oh my god, my Pokeball luck today is shit. It's doghouse. Please. 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 Oh, thank god. Thank god. Thank the lord. Alright, cool. Damn, that is the highest level Cricketune I've ever seen. <laughs> that is the highest level Cricketune I've ever fucking seen, dude. Oh, here we go. There's another one. Oh, hold on. I want the Heracross. Give me the Heracross. I love Heracross. Hell yeah. I assume then Pinsa is Scarlet exclusive. I assume Scarlet is... What? There's no pincer? Are you serious? Bruh. No pincer? Lame. How could they not include pincer, dude? Pincer is the goat.
No, stop. Just stop it. Just stop it. Stop it! Of course he hit five times. You piece of shit. Please. Please. My man. Whew. Thank God. Alright, cool. Got that hair across, baby. Oh, wow. It really isn't, huh? Oh, okay. I was gonna go for you next. Oh, so that's perfect. I am having ball problems today, man. It's just like, the catch rates are just being shit. Like, look, these quick balls are just not working. What? Quick ball's not working today. It's pretty shit. Okay. Let me do this and then incinerate and see if I can get it to the red. Okay, that works. Alright, let me try... Do a Shadow Claw. Hopefully this survives. Yes! Perfectly calculated, boys. Perfectly calculated. Perfectly calculated. I'm gonna get that Luxray as well after this. So now... Hopefully, this should make things a lot easier. Oop. Nice! The perfect calculation. You gotta love it. Oof. Thank fuck. There we go. All right, let me bring you back from the dead. And I will grab you. Okay, Luxray. I need you in my party. Let's see if quick balls will work on you. Oh, it works on you? Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. That makes sense. I don't even have a Luxia or a Shinx. I just went straight to a Lux, right? Why does she have like the- Why does she have like the swag face? What the fuck is that thing? Is that the- Is that the evolution of the small live? Oh, Bolivar. Oh my god, I love it. That's the evolution of small live. I love that. Doesn't matter, you're dead. That's so cool. All right, cool. Nice. Okay. Oh, this is a cool area. Except, uh, FPS is going brr. Oh, the music's nice here, guys. Damn. All right, I see you. Okay. No, I haven't found any shinies so far. Although TBH, I'm not exactly like 
out looking for them, so I might have, like... I might have passed it up without me even knowing. You know what I mean? Ooh, belly bolt. Hmm... God damn, dude, Cerule is so fucking sick. Let's go. Ali. Cerule is just very pog. Oh, for fuck's sake. Bruh. I don't have time to fucking fight you, Phalanx. I've already- I've already got you. Oh shit, was that Naltaria? Oh yo 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 I want the Altaria. Quick ball it. Altaria's pretty pog. Let's go! Quick ball where it counts. Very nice. All right, sweet. Okay. What's with the bamboo shoots? Oh. Shremongous or whatever the fuck this guy's name is. What's his name? <laughs> Amoongus, that's it. Amoongus! Amoongus! Let's go, we got that Amoongus! So iconic. Among Us. <laughs> nice. Alright, boys, we're filling it up. Do, 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 do. Blanc of the Artist. You're kind of in the wrong place for that, man. Ugh, oh, that is such an ugly Pokemon. Oh, there's the Pokemon Center. Uh oh, super effective. All right, Shadow Claw. Nice. It is a pretty fucking ugly Pokemon. Floor, floor, floor A, floor J. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, you motherfucker. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, cool. Boom. Bum ba dum bum ba dum bum ba dum bum ba dum. Oh, the Teddy Ursa is just chilling there. And the Ursa ring. Alright, let's go to here. I think we already have a Scyther, right? Oh, Scyther is a trade evolution, right? With Sizzle. Doo -doo -doo. 
need a metal coat. Oh, uh, metal coat trade. Okay. I mean, we can... We can do all of that when we get the time. As of right now, though... Uh, we have 225. So let me get that moonstone right there. And... Time of balls. Nice. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, we have 225. Pretty good. Pretty good. Five trainers? Are there even five trainers around here? Oh, wait, there's one. Hello. Oh. Oh, this is the base. I see you almost at the fifth base. Hold up inside there is Team Star's last remaining squad. You fought well to make it this far. Thank you, Zoe. Zoe, Cassiopeia. What? So you made it as well, Clive. Of course, it's the last base. I wouldn't want to miss out on the action. Clive, I owe you my thanks. Your help has been invaluable to the corporation. I'm sorry, I was so wary of you at first. Well, that's all water under the bridge. When we're finished with this base, will that be the end of Operation Starfall, then? Not quite. We we'll still need to handle Team Star's secret mastermind, last of all. Do we have any leads on how to find them? I'm hoping they'll come home into the open once all the squad muscles are stiffed down. I see. We've come so far. Only a few more steps left. Don't let me down, either of you. Wow, well, alright. Cassiopeia's hung up, or all right. Thanks to you, Zoe, I'm slowly but surely come to understand Team Star. I know what I need to do, and I know what my final decision will be. I will kill them all. For that, I can't thank you enough. Take care in that base, Miss Zoe. Ah, sorry for getting all black there. Don't know what came over me. I needed to be rude as fuck. I forgot. <laughs> okay. Before we jump into that, though, I do want to make sure that, um... I do want to make sure that uh, Cerule Edge can learn Psycho Cut, because it'll make things a lot easier. So hopefully Cerule Edge can learn Psycho Cut. Oh, Gengar! Hey! Alright, let's see. Ow! Oh, I'm bitter as fuck. Oh, damn, alright. Boom. Thank you. Bronze on. Ah. Fire type? Easy clap. Bitter Blade should one shot this. Damn, Bronze looks so fucking beefy, dude. Holy shit. He's a thick boy. God damn. All right. Seems you're a pro at Pokemon battles. Uh, yeah. oh, hello. <laughs> Alright, let me wander around here for a little bit. Pick up some goods. Where's that final uh, trainer? Oh, Hex. Nice. Oh, shit! Hey, yo! Let's go. Let's catch this fucker. Get that slacking, baby. Oh, it's a ghost terror slacking.
Oh, actually, that's really fucking good to have because that means fighting moves won't work. That would be really good to have. Uh, let's use Lava Plume. It's like he's loafing around. Alright. Fuck him up. Yeah, you can't kill it while it's terrestrialized. Which is good. That's a that's a cool little uh, thing that they added to make sure that you don't accidentally kill uh, a terror. Because for the most part, I think most people are trying to catch these guys. Alright, let's see if we can get it. Come on, Ultra Ball. Yes. Yes. Let's go. First shot. Very good. And with that, Cerule's leveled up. Learn Psycho Cut. Fuck yeah, let's go. Uh, we will get rid of Incinerate. Nice. Big moves. Big moves, baby. Got ourselves a Slacking. I don't even think we have a Slack off yet. We have a Vigor off and a Slacking, but no Slack off. Yeah. <laughs> Start to catch a Slack off. All right, now that we got that, it is time to absolutely tear this base to shreds. Let's, uh, let's go heal up first. Let's go tear this fucking base up, boys. So I guess, uh, since fighting is weak to Psychic, Flying, and Fairy, was it? Was it Psychic, Flying, and Fairy that it's weak to? Yes, okay. That means we know, then, that it will be... U3. Perfect. Alright, cool. Whoops. Didn't see you there, sorry. Ghost also? Oh, okay. No, then this should be easy. It's all gonna depend on how high level they are. But uh, I guess we'll find out. Yo oh wait, hold on. I have a Giga Chad voice. Where is it? Uh... Where's the Giga Chad voice? I'm gonna do the Giga Chad voice, hold on. You're very skilled. Not many trainers can shrug off my Pokemon's attacks like that. The same to you, uh, Eri, was it? Your Pokemon have clearly spent a lot of time honing their moves. But I'm surprised to find the boss herself out here defending the gate. Don't you trust your grunts enough to put them on guard duty? Watch your mouth. I'm here because I don't want to risk anyone else getting hurt, that's all. What a benevolent boss. Now, if you want to get on with our battle, I'm already on my side. Uh, say something. Who are you? Zoe, there you are. I started talking to this girl since she looked like she was with Team Star. Then she and her Pokemon came at me without warning. We were just battling it out. With fists. Uh, Riri, I knew you'd be out here. Oh. Carmen. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, honestly. Now get away from here. It's not safe. I'll take over guarding the base, Riri. You should get back inside. No, I won't back down. I can't. Oh, Riri, you need to stop this bullshit. Until the big boss comes back, I have to protect all of you in the Cash Squad. And everyone else in Team Star 2. That's why you should go get back to the base and rest up, even just for a little bit. As the boss of the squad, I... I just can't. Riri, please. 
I'm your friend. Listen to what I'm fucking saying. You stupid bitch. Uh, fine. I'll go. I'm sorry, Common. Hey, that's no way to sign off. Let me hear a hasta la vista from you nice and fucking loud. Uh, hasta la vista. Yeah, there you go. She's got some fucking thunder thighs, dog. Wanna, wanna put my head in between that. I'm your opponent now, you two. Come on, I'll take you both down. Hey, Zoe. My Pokemon and I are actually running on empty after that last battle. Oh, come the fuck on, dude. Sorry to spring this on you, but do you think you can handle this grunt alone? Yep. Wow, excuses. Thanks, I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. I'll protect Riri with everything I have. You fucking ready? Uh, yeah, let's fucking do it. Man, Clive really fucking bailed out immediately, huh? Alright, let's do it. Let's see, uh, we'll get a good feel of how strong these guys are. We got that new Psycho Cut, dude. We're good. Level 54? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Alright then. I feel like this is about to be a walk in the park. I feel like this is about to be a walk in the park. <laughs> <laughs> with Psycho Cutter. Oh shit! Oh, oh fuck me, you serious? Does Bitter Blade go first or what? Damn, Primer's fast as fuck! Oh my god! Okay, maybe not. Damn, I, I didn't realize Primer was that fast. All right. This is the best song in the game, no doubt. No fucking question. This is the best song in the game. Oh my god, what a banger. My Salamance is faster, baby. Nice. I think this is the song, yeah, this is one of the songs that Toby worked on, I think. Hell yeah, dude. Even if all I did was buy Rui a bit of time, that's fine. My job here is done, so I'll head back inside. Hasta la vista! <laughs> Those glasses must be so uncomfortable. Hold on, I gotta put this back. <sighs> Wow, what a what an amazing uh What an amazing explanation that I just did for just I'm sending it to you through my mind. Alright. Let's fucking go. Let's do it! Final one! <clears throat> oh, wait. Even the smallest stars can light up the sky when they shine together as constellations or whatever. We are the last bastion of Team Star. Losing is not a fucking option. 
Hey kid, you fucking listening? If you beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, we'll call the boss out to deal with ya. How's that for hospitality? Fuck you. Alright, let's give it a go. Uh, it's this way, right? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Come on, come here. Come on, come on, come out. You gonna come out or what? Oh, it was a Gallade. Come here, bitch. Oh shit, Mary Jane's getting fucked. You guys gonna come out or what? Oh, come on, get this guy. Oh, Mary Janes. You're very close. Guys. Alright, two more. Boom. Easy. Yo, Mary Jane with the survive. Fuck you all for doubting Mary Jane. Mary Jane never... Mary Jane will never ever turn her back towards me. Never. Alright, here we go. Mary Jane the goat for real. No cap. Facts. No printer. Alright. What a badass. Airy. Okay, I'm ready. It doesn't matter who you are, I'll bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time I won't run away. Alright, let's go, final boss guys. Woo! That guitar, boy! Oh, this song is such a banger. This song is actually such a fucking banger, dude. Woo! All right, level 55. Oh, actually, that's not that's not over leveled at all. Oh, fuck! You're faster than me. Are you serious, bro? Come on, take it out. Take it out one go. Take it out one go, bro. You got this. My man. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Lucario? <sighs> no, it's steel, isn't it? Oh my god, please be faster than Lucario. He's so fast, though. Please, Bitter Blade, hit. Yes! Let's go! Thank god. And with that heal, my man. All right, sick, sick, sick. Uh, Persimian. No, we'll keep it. Well, Persimian is also grass type, isn't it? Persimian is grass fighting? No, it's not. Okay, never mind. Let's just use Psycho Cut then. Oh damn, it's, it's beefy, all right. Oh god. Oh my god, it's surviving. Oh no, speed fell! Shit. Please be faster. Oh, you motherfucker! Oh, 
I swear, if its speed did not fall there, I would have gotten him. Fuck's sake. Alright. I think... Yeah, in that case, let's Zen headbutt it. Fuck you. Alright. Annihilate. Yeah. Oh, you got an Annihilate too? Bet. Uh, Zen headbutt should do it. Ooh, okay. Just survive this hit. Yes, the flinch! Let's go, Salamans! Let's go, Salamans! All right, Reverend Vroom is up. The flinch gods have come back, baby. So I knew Sal Salamans will never, never turn his back on me. Oh, what's that? Gear shift? Oh, fuck. Alright. Oh, my God. Oh, defense rise? Really? Oh, fuck. It's gonna try and one-shot me, isn't it? Is it gonna try and one-shot me? Alright, let's use Fly. It's probably gonna try and one-shot me here. With something, I don't know. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Missed. Alright, this is Stab, so it hopefully should do a little bit more damage. Let's try that again. Four gear shifts? Oh, it's speed won't go any higher. Its attack is rising. Alright, let's try this again. I have- dude, 95% for me should- is basically 50%. Like, I have such bad luck with that shit. Come on. Oh, wow, that did not do much. Shit, and its defense keeps rising. Alright. Oh my god, another one? Oh my god, it's attack! Oh shit. Oh, holy fuck. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's so close, though. It's so close. It's so close. Alright. Is Mary Jane gonna be fast enough? I don't know if Mary Jane's gonna be fast enough. Oh my god! Oh, it's about to sweep me, isn't it? I think he's about to sweep me here. Okay. In that case... I'm going to Revival Blessing. Nope, it's faster than me. Holy shit! Holy shit, dude! Okay. Let me see here. I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna revive Salamance here because it can take a hit. Oh my f 
fucking god. This is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> this is really bad, dude. Oh my god. I think I might actually lose here. It's all the fucking gear shifts it did. Okay, it's survived, survived. Uh, what can I do here? Literally, what can I do? There's literally nothing I can do here. Oh. Damn, all right. All right, Salamence, you're up. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to terrestrialize Salamance and fly. Because fly is stabbed, so it's going to be a little bit better in terms of its defense. Stop! Stop! Just... Just stop. Just stop, bro. Fuck, dude! What's the strategy here? Zen headbutt? No, fly. No! Oh! We were so close! We were so close! Fuck! Oh, damn, that was the- f that's the first whiteout for me. This entire game. Oh, we were so close, dude. Damn. All right, looks like we gotta we gotta train up a little bit. We gotta grind a little bit. All right, grind it is. Ah, oh, damn man. All right, let's grind a little bit. Uh, who should we grind? Salamence or? All we should give Salamence some candy though. We do have a bunch of rare candies. So roll edge or what? Save those for the last levels. True, true, true. All right, we should go. We should go grind a little bit. Uh, what's a good Pokemon to grind on? Or grind with, rather. Grind on. <laughs> That's a good Pokemon to grind with, is what I was trying to fucking say. Phalanx, maybe? Chansey? Okay, I found this was okay. Uh, let's see. You guys said there's a chancy thing somewhere? Or should I just stay around here? Wait, there's a chancy. I think there was a chancy raid. Is it still here, I wonder? Is the chancy raid still around? Or is it gone? Oh no, there it is. 
There's a chancy raid right there. I could also just do some terror raids and get some candy, but... Uh, okay, let's set that as a destination. Okay. All right, let's go do these Chansey Raids, shall we? Oh, I don't think I have you, actually. Vivalon. Okay, so question chat. Um. Oh wow. Okay, that just did not work. Uh, question: What? Which Pokemon would you rec? Or what level, roughly, uh, cap would you recommend for say? You know, because after this, we'll be going to the Elite Four, right? How much grinding will we have to do before we get to the Elite Four, is the question I want to ask. Sixty-five. Okay. That's not too bad, then. Elite Four or mid-sixties. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. So 70 is better? Okay. Well, I don't want to over-level, right? Because uh, that would just make things too easy. Also, it'd just take too much time. Um, okay, fuck you, Vivalon. Let me try with the... Yeah, over-leveling over isn't fun, and I'm, I don't think you guys want to just fucking watch me grind for hours, so... There we go. They were pretty underwhelming, really. 62 should be a good challenge, I bet. Oh, flamethrower? Fuck yeah. Ooh, what would be good to replace flamethrower though? Zen headbutt? No. Uh. Hmm. Oh, uh, these, uh, the problem is, no, crunch is good because you want you want attack moves, right? This is a this is a special attack move, and my special attack is not actually that good. So I might almost even I might even almost forget flamethrower because we already have uh, we already have Cerule Edge. All right, cool. You can always relearn moves. Oh, okay. Yeah, my special attack is good enough, but, I mean, you know, I'd rather use physical moves, right? Alright, let's, uh, let's go beat the shit out of these chances, shall we? What the fuck is that? Oh, I already have you. Okay. Oh, hold on. I want to get the elephant. Big elephant. I haven't got the big elephant yet. Give me you. Big elephant. Copperaja. Let's see if Quick Ball will do anything to this. Two. Three. Damn. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna run. And let's try it again. Alright, fucking hell. Salamance, why are you so dumpy, dude? I believe for a second too. Don't worry, we'll get it. Two, three, bam. Quick ball supremacy, baby. Let's go. Okay. Uh, should we just do... Let's... Go mode for... 
the chances or what? Will it even be able to kill it? Oh, it does, okay. Or should we... No, we should probably get into battle, right? You get more experience one-on-one, -on -one. yeah. That's what I figured. Yeah, let's just go one-on-one. -on -one. Um... Let's use Dragon Claw, I guess. Nice, okay. Dragon Claw will do it. Oh, damn, nice. That is a lot of experience, you're right. Come here, Chansey. Come here. Come here. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? What the f Okay. <laughs> I went through that fucking thing too and it just didn't engage. <laughs> that thing ran away at the fucking speed, dude. Just like, nope. I'm fucking out of here. Oh, actually, yeah. Do I have a lucky egg? I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, let's see. Where the hell the items? I do have a lucky egg. Ha ha. Uh, give it to Salamence. Nice. Okay. Okay, let's see how much more experience I get from a lucky egg. We were getting about 3,000 before. <laughs> 4,800? Bro, oh. Do I have you? No, I don't. Holucha. Damn. Hell yeah, we're completing the decks and we're leveling up, boys. Let's go. It's a win, win, win. Stop running over the wildlife. Don't, don't tell me what to do. I'll do whatever I want. I'll fucking run over all the chances. And look, this is coming from someone who fucking loves Chansey, all right? Chansey's like my favorite fucking Pokemon. Oh my god, we're getting so much fucking experience. Uh, grassy terrain. What is this? User turns the ground into grassy terrain for five turns. This restores the HP of Pokemon on the ground a little every turn and powers up grass type moves. Eh... Nah. Chansey is fat and ugly? You're fat and ugly. Fuck you. Don't badmouth Chansey. I'll fuck you up. Chansey and say it's ugly. Like, what's wrong with you? funny if a shiny chancy spawns. I mean, if a shiny chancy spawns, I'm catching it. Chancy is just fat Jigglypuff. L take. Actually, actual L take.
Uh, what level should we get Salamance up to? Well, you guys said we should get everyone up to, like, around the level 60s, right? So I guess we can just do that. We'll try and get everyone up to around 60 to 65, I'd say. I'd say that'd be a pretty good level to get it up to. God, the fucking... Fucking Lucky Egg is so broken. <laughs> Lucky Egg is so broken. Again, I'm just thinking in the terms of like the Elite Four, because after after this base, we're gonna go to the Elite Four, obviously, finish all of the story shit up, and then go to the 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 butthole of Paldia. So, oh fuck. Why not just fight? What do you mean? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, we finished Arvin's path. We, we beat Arvin. Oh, what the fuck are you? What the fuck is you? Do I have you? Oh, I have, yeah, okay. Kill a watch roll. Eh, nah, I won't fight you. Okay. <laughs> Can I? Please. Stop. Stop. Let me run. Thank you. Fuck you. Get away from me. Poor man Zapdos. <laughs> Alright, nice. Level 60. Damn, the amount of experience we get per fight is, like, actually stupid. <laughs> These things are, like, more than 10 levels below me, and I'm still leveling up after fighting, like, four of them. Now, if only there were Blissies at double the level. Oh my god. If it was, then that would be like fucking 30,000 experience. Alright, nice. I wish Pokemon would still get experience even if they're fainted. Um... I mean, it just doesn't really make sense, does it? Like... It, it doesn't make sense in the real world either, if you think about it. Like, if you went... If you went skydiving with your friend, and, uh, and you fainted on the way up, then you haven't really experienced skydiving, have you? <laughs> As in, as in the way up on the plane, guys. I know how fucking skydiving works. <laughs> I 
Imagine if you fainted on the way down. Well, at least you'd experience jumping out of the plane, right? But if you fainted on the plane up and then just came back down on the plane, then you didn't go skydiving. You just fainted on a plane. You know? Yeah, I'm gonna get Salamence maybe to around 65, maybe? 64, I'd say. And then I'll switch to Cerule Edge, get him up to around 64. And then we should be good. I once took ibuprofen and Red Bull at the same time before school and blinked and suddenly it was 4 p.m. And my notes were the best they've ever been, so technically it's possible. <laughs> wow, did you just like unlock 100% of your brain, bro? Okay, let's switch to Cerule Edge here. Uh, so... Put away held item. Uh, give an item to hold. Lucky egg. Boom. Bring to the front. All right. Yeah, we won't make it go too high. Because again, as, some, as someone said in the chat, like, we'll naturally level up from fighting the Elite Four, so... Again, I don't want to- I don't want to bore you guys with just constantly killing Chanseys for an hour. So we'll get Cerule to maybe around 62, 63, and then we'll, uh, we'll go for a second shot. I love how they made as well each of the Pokémon, like, different sizes, too. Like, that's a nice little... That's a nice little, uh, thing. Oh. Why did you survive that one? Okay. Double shock. Whoa, a 120 move? The user discharges all the electricity from his body to perform a high damage attack. After using this move, the user will no longer be electric type. <laughs> what? Oh, that's really good. Should we get rid of Revival Blessing? What do you think? I say we get rid of Revival B Blessing at this point. That looks pretty fucking goaded. But I don't want to get rid of Thunderfang either. Just use revives and it's the exact same thing. True. Let's do that then. See, that might actually be, that might actually be a really goaded move, because if you're, say for example, if you're fighting, say, like, a ground-type Pokémon, right? Or, no, no, that's not a good, uh, that's not a good analogy. Say you're fighting a, uh, what's weak against electric other than... Steel. Yeah, flying in water, for example, right? That would be a really good move, and it can't. And if it has a ground type move on me, or uh, sorry, a, a, a non-ground type move, it, you know what? Never mind. I tried to go somewhere with that. It didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I 
I tried to, I tried to make that make sense, and it just didn't make sense. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Either way, 120 electric move uh, that can't miss. Yeah, fuck yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> just, I was trying to think of an example, and just like, nah, it's not working in my head. Never mind. All right, let's let it up. Let's get it up one more level, and then uh, I think we're good to go. The chances really fucking saved me. That's for sure. I lose my stab for the other move? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you do is you use Thunder Fang. And then if I feel like, oh, I don't need... Say if it's like the last, like... It'll, say if it's like the last Pokemon, right, that the trainer has. Just finish it off with a strong move. And then at the end of the battle, it gets its typing back. So... With Terra, you can get back the stab. Oh, perfect. I'll just do that then. All right, cool. Level 62. Flare Blitz. Oh, 120. The user cloaks itself and finds charges the target to inflict damage. This also damages the user quite a lot, and you may leave the target with a burn. Ooh, probably best to get rid of Lava Plume in that case. Because that's a physical. And my... Look at my attack compared to my special attack. <laughs> it is fucked. So, goodbye, Lava Plume. Oh yeah, I can Flare Blitz and then use Bitter Blade to heal. <laughs> That's so broken! That's so fucking broken. Alright. Uh, that should be enough. We're at level 62 and level 64. Hopefully that should be enough to finish this off. So, let's... I always lose track of where the fuck it is because the map keeps spinning around. Where are you? There you are. All right, time to get our revenge, boys. Do I have to do the beating 30, uh... Do I have to do the beating 30 Pokemon again? Great. Da -da -da. That's probably the most annoying part of this. Also, I'm hearing this fucker. Where is he? Is he on top? Where is he? Can't reach it. No, he's not there. All right, fuck it. Whatever. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's this way. Okay. Instead of Mary Jane, should we go annihilate instead? What do you think we should do, Mary Jane or annihilate? Because it knows... Well, if it's fighting, then we can just use a ground move, right? Stomping Tantrum? I'm pretty sure it's strong. I mean, Mary Jane survived, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. But let's just replace it just in case. Okay, before we go in, guys, I am going to go take a piss. So I will be RP. Be right back.
All right. I'm back, baby. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's get going with this, I guess. Uh, thanks for the Prime Cum Explosion 420. <laughs> Fuck's sake, I hate how I laughed at that. Oh wait, no I don't have to, thank god. Okay, cool, we can just go straight in. Alright, thank god, we don't have to kill the 30 Pokemon again. Alright, I'm gonna fuck you up this time. Don't even at me. All right, hopefully we can sweep. Let's go. Oh, this song never gets old. All right, let's go through a ledge. Stop. You bastard. Alright. No problems there. Okay, we shouldn't have any problems with this Lucario as long as Bitter Blade hits first. Nice. Easy clap. Back to full health. That's what I like to see. Oh, almost full health, I guess. Persimian. Alright, I'm just gonna keep uh I'm just gonna keep Sorolage out. Psycho cut should one shot it. Nope. Two shot. Okay. This is where we died last time. Oh! The extra level ups! The extra level ups, baby. Nice! The extra level up saved us. Uh... Okay, I should switch here to Salamence. Because Cerule Edge is a little bit... The Cerule Edge is a bit slow, so Annihilate might actually be faster here if we use Cerule Edge. So, Salamence should be faster than Annihilate, so we should be able to one-shot him here. Same headbutt. Very nice. Okay, two-shot. Oh, fuck, it was Ice Punch? Oh, fuck, alright. That was bad. No way! No way it fucking missed! Come on. Oh, now you hit. Alright, cool, thanks. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> this is, uh, bad. This is very bad. I don't know whether we should just Zen headbutt it. Or heal. <sighs> Alright, you know what? I'm gonna full restore it. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, send headbutt. <sighs> okay, okay. We might, we might be able to do it, guys. We might be able to do it. Let's go. We might be able to do this. 
I'm just gonna spam the fuck out of Zen Headbutt. It's gonna buff up again, that's fine. But we're doing more damage to it than last time. And it's able to take... Okay, okay. And it seems like Salamence is able to take a couple of hits, so... Hopefully it won't sweep. Oh, it's just gonna keep fucking... Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, I hate the fact its defense just keeps going up. Oh my god. Oh my god, two more Zen headbutts should do it. Or should we fly? No, I because it's gonna it's gonna buff. Come on, survive. All right, nice, 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 nice. Oh! <sighs> Should I fly here? Okay, okay, this might do it. This might do it. Please don't miss. I swear to God, if Fly misses, I'm gonna scream. Yes! Yes! Salamence with the carry, dude. Let's go, Salamence. Fuck yeah, dude. Whoo! All right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm so sorry, everyone. <sighs> Death. <laughs> God, these fucking Naruto ass flashbacks, dude. I'm so sorry. I think I went a little too far. Nah, don't worry about it. We're the ones who asked you to put us through some tough battle practice so we can train up. Yeah, but. Truly, you, no, you, no need, you need not apologize, my lady. Thanks to thy sage instruction, I am making swift strides towards mastering the art of battle. And I could never have evolved my Pokemon without you, Aerie. Even the big boss said it's thanks to you that we have a fighting chance against our bullies. See, nothing but gratitude. To us, you're the brightest star in the whole team. <laughs> Come on, quit being silly. Um, just one thing. We've been training for four whole hours now. I'm totally pooped. Oh, I'm sorry. You all really should take a break. I'll go for a run while you rest up. My lady, we four have each trained in our turn, but you, our steadfast mentor, have rested not once. I cannot help but worry for thy health. Thank you for your concern, Atticus. But lately, I feel like I can take anything, even if I'm really tired or feel like crying. Remember that time we all got together and riffed on the gym badge designs to create our own very own star badges? Well, I don't know what it is, but just looking at my star badge makes me feel so strong. Like I want to give it my all. I gave my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. You showed amazing strength. You good, Eri? <laughs> Just glitch there for a second? Even if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I'd want you to have this. Let's go! Final gym badge, baby! Nice. Did it all. Oh, close combat? Hell yeah. Oh. An, an I know you're not ready to suffer, but I can tell from a battle that you're not a bad person. The way your Pokemon look at you with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor and look away for a moment. This is a bit much for me to take. I just really... <laughs> hey, yo, Blue's with the raid. Let's go, dude. Looks like it's all over. Oh, really? This is the team star member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a talk. So, what did you want me to ask me? Oh, what did you... F fuck. What did you want me to ask? Hey, Blue's. <laughs> 
You seem to be on much friendlier terms with Aerie compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that? Well, all right, I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to fucking hate Riri. She's an amazing trainer and athlete, but she's really pretty too. It took her no time at all to become popular at the academy. I was queen of the class before she came along, but then that fucking bitch everyone liked her more than me. So let me guess, you started to pick on her. Pretty much. I got our classmates to join in too. We we're all so fucking stupid. But in the end, kids are always fickle. And once one thrill wears off, they look for something new. Before long, the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it. But then Riri, she chose to help me even though I'd been so horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side. And she invited me into Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that? What a kind girl. <laughs> this motherfucker. She really is. And joining the team had worked out great for us. It's been so much fun. Fun? There are rumors that Team Star likewise engages in bullying. Hypocrite much? Checkmate atheist. After hearing my story, do you really think that's true? Oh. Uh, I mean, after hearing my story, do you really think that's true? Uh, no. I merely... Riri and the rest of Team Star made me who I am today. So fuck you! Please don't take away our greatest treasure. What is she doing? Just eating a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we did it, boys. All the badges. Completo des. This Cassiopeia motherfucker. Sorry, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim every star badge? Yep. I sure did. Without its boss, the cat squad should be a hair's breadth from the spanner. I want to smoke whatever Clive has. Also, I want RIR to crush me like a watermelon between Hassan Piker's thighs. Hey, yo. You good, man? <laughs> All right. So, Aerie was the last. All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before long now that they've lost their special positions. Uh, Gachi, um, I, uh, sorry I said ayo to you. Uh, I kind of agree. After that, we should soon be back attending classes at the academy. Nice work out there, Zoe. Is that Clive I hear? Cassiopeia, well done to you two. Thanks. Now back to rewards you. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone. As promised. Sweet, got that LP! Hell yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I'm doing the whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? Indeed. You can go ahead and give your bonus reward now. Lots of Pokemon materials. At long last, Operation Starfall has ended its final stage. There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star to spread for good. <laughs> where, where the big boss? Hey, boss! Where you at? Don't worry, there's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss is me. Oh, I knew it! I fucking knew it! I fucking knew it! What? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long, but the right moment never came. Wow, what a surprise! I never would have guessed! I'm the one who formed Team Star. Back then, the members of the team were my closest friends. And I treasure them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give it up. So I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Zoe, I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clyde. Understood. Then I'll see you both there. Oh my god, what a shocker! So Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time. I scarcely thought it possible. But with this revelation, I just might have an inkling as to their true identity. 
It seems we'll find our answers after dark in the academy schoolyard. Let's prepare as best as we can before heading over. Okay. Alright. Uh, cool, we did it! Let's fucking go, dude. Time to battle Cassiopeia. Oh wait, do I have a Shinx? I forgot if I've caught a Shinx yet or not. I don't think I've caught a Shinx yet, have I? No, I haven't. They hated me because I spoke the truth. Also, I tagged you with a link to that article about Trigun under your stream tweet. Alright, sweet. I'll check it out, bro. Thank you. <laughs> they hated Jesus for he spoke the truth. <laughs> Alright, sweet. We've got to get a Luxio as well, actually. I don't know where to get one, but... Do I have... You, actually? I don't remember if I've called you or not. No, I do. Okay. Alright, so we gotta wait till night, right? We have to wait till night time, so... What should we do? Should we catch some Pokemon? Oh, you can just go? Oh, okay. But No, I haven't got all the starties yet. I mean, I plan to, like, finish the actual, uh, decks after, you know, I finished all the story. Oh, there we go. Thanks for teaching me that, guys. Alright, sweet. Let's go. And then after that, we can go to the Elite Four, finish up all the story, and then, uh, finish, catch the, all the Pokemon. Finish all the Dex shit. Did you feel? Alright, let's go fight Cassiopeia, aka the person we always thought was going to be Cassiopeia. Sub Zoe. What up, Clive? Yep, that's my name. Actually, no. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity! Ha ha! El Gasp! Who would have fucking thought? I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of Uber Academy, Mr. Clavel! What? No way! Yes, this must be quite the shock. My disguise was perfect, Arthur. Regardless, there is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. I am actually... Okay, that's... That's actually shocking. <laughs> what?! <laughs> Wait, I thought it was Penny the whole time! The fuck? Yo, Nintendo was like, pfft. The mislead. Also, what are your thoughts on the Yurusei Yatsura remake pause? Shell tears VA as Lum Gun <clears throat> acting up FRFR. It's just like 1982 all over again. I haven't seen it yet, Gachi, but I've heard it's good. What the fuck, dude? I, I thought for sure Cassiopeia was Penny the whole time. Honest to goodness. When you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. What? How does that work? I pulled it off using, uh, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Oh yes, it was very clever. So, Miss Zoe, now you know I'm the big boss. That means there is just one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. Okay. I th okay, I thought for sure it was gonna be Penny. Oh, Aranguru, nice. Alright, uh, well, fuck. How does that make any sense? Like, I'm just... I'm, I'm just thinking about it, I'm like, how does that make any... Unless he's lying, I don't know. I don't know what's up. Oh, 
Oh, you motherfucker. It is a bit sus, I must say. Well, let's kick his ass and uh, we'll find out. That is some Code Geass shit, isn't it? Alright, what do you got next? Gyarados. Uh, yeah, let's use Pormont. Guy Arados. Uh, should we just super shock or double shock? I want to see what double shock looks like. Super. Nice. Uh, kid, you should, you should, kid. Hey, uh, kid, kid, kid. It's a phantom. A bomb of snow. Um, for a bomb of snow, Sorrel Age, right? I'm just gonna have to wake it up first. Yeah, the NPCs do not get. They live in another dimension, dude. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to wake Cerule up for a second. Wake up! Aurora Veil. All right, this should do it. Oh damn! All right, he took that. He took that like a champ, dude. God damn, all right. Ah! Oh, its defense is boosted now. Doesn't matter. Yeah, Aurora Veil saved his ass, dude. God damn, all right. It didn't help, it just prolonged the inevitable. Nice. Uh, Poltygeist. So, what's that? Is it ghost type? It's ghost type, right? So, I guess we'll just give it to Sal. Mm. Yeah, we'll give we'll give it to Mary Jane, I guess. Oh wait, no, 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 we shouldn't. Let's give it to Salamence. Just use crunch on it. I want a poltergeist. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, it's speed rose. Oh, great. Now it's burned. <clears throat> oh, damn, it's faster than me? Okay. Get fucked. What? Its defense fell, so how come... It's not as effective. The fuck? Oh, is it because it's burnt? It's because I'm burnt, that's why. That's annoying. Burn halves your attack? Oh shit. I actually didn't know that. Alright, still got him. Alright, uh... Among Us! Yes, he's got Among Us. 
Don't, 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 don't. Oh, I have the perfect little thing that Aki gave me. I have this thing. Well, listen to this. Emergency meeting. <laughs> Someone sus. Press it every time you get a sus donor. Skeledurge? Fuck a Skeledurge. I don't know, but I'll bring an Eyelape out because I don't know what it is. Oh, it's the Fuyo Coco evolution. Oh, I want to see what it looks like actually. I haven't seen the uh, fire final evolution yet. Oh, that's... that's kind of cool, actually. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I like that. So what's its typing? Is it just fire? Oh, fire ghost. Okay. I got Stomping Tantrum, so that should do some damage. Okay, never mind. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, that's right. So Shadow Punch should do this then. Nope. Damn, he's bulky, dude. Holy fuck. Okay. Um... I guess it's time for Pooper. <coughs> so let's quake him. Oh, it's faster. Damn. Oh, shit. Alright, you're about to get fucked. Let's go, Pooper, for the win! Pooper for the win! Let's go! Get fucked, Clavel. I guess I'll kill myself. <laughs> <clears throat> well now, Miss Zoe. It seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassio- Motherfucker, lied to me. Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassiope's true identity remains hidden, but I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. That is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiope has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenge you to a battle to test your skill. If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve. But it turns out you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task. But please, Defeat ca Oh, the 90 degree fucking Ojigi? Okay, I see you. Take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Yes, sir. My fucking boy. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. I leave this in your hands. You there! What do you think y'all doing? I'ma fuck you up. Ah, uh, Miss Time, a pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Clavel. I came here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself, facing off against one of our students, no less. What were you think? Uh, no, if I could just explain, you see, it is a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me. Your excuses reek worse than a stunky's behind. Uh, a stunky's b b behind? Ahem. <clears throat> 
Remember, the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. I'm counting on you, Miss Zoe. You'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once. And I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistake. Good graces, no. I anything about that, I implore you. Yo, get fucked. He got mad busted, y'all. Alright, sweet. Uh, okay. He got fucking snitched on, dude. Alright, do we wait in here, I guess? Yeah, why do I get away with it? <laughs> uh... Wait, what do I... Interact with the screen? Oh, this thing? Uh... Where am I going? Schoolyard, right? Oh, here we go. Aha! Zoe. You fucking... Assassin's Creed looking motherfucker. Thanks for coming. Should I give her the voice? I'm gonna give her the voice. It's me, Cassiopeia. It's like, oh, I thought you were using a voice changer. That's just your voice. <laughs> this must be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Cassiopeia. They were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those team star monkeys outside school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get a hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit. And I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to studying Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? Fuck yeah, I'm gonna kick your ass. Thanks. Oh shit, here comes Clive! <laughs> Sorry to keep you. The letter of apology Miss Time had me, uh, I mean, preparations took longer than expected. That voice, are you Clive? Penny, so was you after- Ah, uh, no, I mean, is that you, Cassiopeia? In the flesh, I would ask for you, Clive, if you'll accept it. Fuck off. <laughs> I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Uh, okay. Weird request. Alright, let's see, uh... Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No. Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. All right, here we go. Oh my God, the bangers. They don't stop. Oh shit. Uh, this is bad. Oh my Lord. Oh. Oh. Oh Lord. Oh. Oh, this is a banger. Oh, this is a banger. Oh shit, this might be bad actually. Yo, give Toby Fox a raise, bro. God damn. Holy 
fuck, dude? This is like some hard style. This is some legit hard style shit. Oh my god, please put this on fucking Groove Coaster or like any rhythm game. This goes so hard. Oh shit. Oh my god. You gotta be shitting me. Come on, Pooper. Damn, Umbreon is so tank. Vaporeon. Oh, does it just have evolutions? That's pretty cool. Does she just have six evolutions? Oh, that's sick. Guys, did you know? <laughs> did you know, guys? Uh, I gotta double shock it. Nice. Oh my god! I, I'm sorry, I can't... I can't get over this music. This music is actually so fire. just look regardless of how you feel about the performance of this game or whatever can we all just admit this is easily this this game easily has some of the best music in any pokemon game can we all just can we all agree on that like they went so hard with this music that they did not have to go this hard with this music Like, it is... I would even go as far as to say this is one of the best Pokemon games if it wasn't for the fact that it was so fucking buggy. Like, if they had just fixed the bugs, easily this would have been one of the best Pokemon games. Alright, please. Poor Mont, don't... Don't get... Don't paralyze. Please, just hit. Nice. Good shit. Alright, Leafeon. Uh, yeah, let's go Sword Lich. I can't, I can't get over how good this fucking music is. Oh shit, no leaf blade. Well, you're about to get bladed back, motherfucker. Have you played Genshin lately? What's Genshin? Never heard of it. <clears throat> this is good. Dude, I should fucking bang this song at the gym. This is actually like really good workout music. <laughs> this is actually really good workout music. All right, Sylvie on the finish it off. I'll just bitter blade the fuck out of it.
Like, this backbeat is just reminding me of, like, early 2000s, like, Nico Nico, like, hardstyle shit that was just everywhere. You know what this sounds like? This sounds like a Toho remix. Does it not? It sounds like a Toho remix. I think that's why it goes so hard. Like, if you told me this was a Toho remix, I would believe you. Let's go! Get fucked, Penny! Let's go! You feed Tenny and Pen T Tenny? Penny of Team Star. Get fucked. And it's all on film, too. Hey, man, that was, that was your choice, not me. <laughs> It's finally over, guys. It's time. Oh my god, another fucking flashback, really? Yep. <laughs> We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up, are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking! We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning them some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Oh, fuck. I forgot to put that. Whatever. Indeed, merely did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyrannous oppression. What the fuck are you saying, Atticus? It was a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, we didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our efforts must have spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down, and then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired especially. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. This little stunt might have put up, uh, us up in the creek. I'll fix this mess of mine. Leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Steam Star. I dragged you all into this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind big boss. You cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is... Thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB! Why... <laughs> My BB! Why are you talking like we've never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Prithee, speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, Big Mouse, answer us. Oh, wow, she's there the whole time. No one's thought about checking the outside of the window. Bye bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything, Zoe. And you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. You got... fucked up. <laughs> it's just like, wow, alright, thanks. Alright, thanks for having it in. I guess this is it for Team Star. And me too. Hold that thought, Miss... Uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, and they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code says that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I can ask them all to do stuff, but I can never order them. Uh, so it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did, and that's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to despair. Because the bosses would do anything the code requires of them, even leave the team. Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. That's the idea for Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia. Oh. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star- No. What do your friends in the team mean to you? Slaves. <sighs> They're my 
Greatest Treasure. Ah! Uh, uh, that's cute as fuck. They are my Nakama. <laughs> Splendid. Thank you for apprising me of the situation, Miss Penny. Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit with the Oki's act, Claude. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Wait, how the fuck has Penny not figured this shit out? What the Claude? Just as Cappy of Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. Can we get much higher? But why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers, after all. Much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. What the fu- I, I, I really liked it. Uh, well, that's quite enough for that now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Huh? <laughs> oh, is it everyone? Is, is it all the Team Star members? They're gonna rock up? Yeah, the boys! The boys assemble! Yo, Big Boss, long time no see. Momo. Yo, it's the Nakama, dude! More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only just found out your real name just now. <laughs> Verily is thy long-hidden countenance a sight for sore eyes, my lady. What did, what did you say? So, um, I heard your real name's Penny. Have you been this whole time? Oh, yo, he's got the hearts for her, bro. <laughs> we found you at last. You've no idea how worried we've been. Oh, fuck, I forgot to switch it again. Whatever. <sighs> Emotions. <laughs> My heart. Okay, gang, on the count of three. Ah, still a vist. Yeah, boys! Oh, that's so fucking cute. God damn it, man. They made me... They made me actually care about the story in a Pokemon game. That's... That's a big feat. Now then, Miss Petty, and each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. Fuck you! <laughs> you all have my sincerest apologies. Come again. As director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. I still don't I mean, uh, what? <laughs> you all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director, all I've ever experienced of the Academy is an environment blessedly free from bullying. But I now know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger. And of course, your immense courage in putting things to right. And so, I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Hey, yo. Does that mean what I think it means? Does it mean that all of it's revoked? <laughs> it's like, yes. That's what I... Anyway. Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist, should that be your wish. Hey, yo, the Nakama happy with that one, boy. Woohoo, Penny, isn't this great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, mine heart is giddy with glee. But, but I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us all about it. Far as we heard, you only went ahead, went through with it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we ever chucked the team just because someone told us to, after all. Ain't our style. I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay. <laughs> I love how big boss is BB. But even so. Clap, 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 clap. Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. Don't fucking interrupt me. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Your protracted truancy. Your brazen customization of school uniforms. Your unauthorized usage of academy equipment. 
Your reckless modification and jeopardous driving of Pokemon-powered vehicles. Need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. Therefore, I expel all of you. <laughs> it's like, uh... What? Thus, as punishment, you will all be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes, specifically, I will be asking you to manage the STCs. The super tough cunts. And that stands for... I just told you, the super tough cunts. The Star Training Centers. There shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talent. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Miss Zoe battling her way through your bases. The base's construction, as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star, are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask you to continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members, using your former bases as training facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Um, no. It sounds like fun, so I don't see how this may be an anything but a win. This may be a weird thing to say since the STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should really join in too, Penny. Tis true. We would most happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can go to school together too, Bibi. That way, if anything happens, we we'll have to take you. We were already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This would be a sweet deal for us. Fuck this. So what do you say? You guys. No, come on. So what do you think? Uh, yeah, dude. Go for it. Oh, but, but, uh, I just... No need to give your responses right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. For now, at least, I think our little group should go their separate ways. Ah, not to say you should break up Team Star, after all. I simply meant it is time to leave. <laughs> Be gone, thought. <laughs> Miss Zoe, please stop by my office later, if you would. Yay! Nakama number one. We are Nakama, dude. Uh... Director's office, right? I'm gonna make your fuck you as Clavel my new <laughs> next new ringtone. Why? <laughs> Could you imagine? You're just like out on a date and it's just like, isn't this a lovely date? It's like, yeah, this is awesome. Fuck you. Sorry, I gotta take this. <laughs> uh, here you are, Mizzou. I wanted to thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team of grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Knock, 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 bitch. Who is it? Oh, it's Penny. Uh, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered to change the fucking. Oh wait, I can change the pitch. Oh, uh, Miss Penny, do come in. Let's see what this sounds like. Hold on. Let me let me change the voice up. <laughs> Hello, director. Maybe that's a little bit too high. We'll, we'll save that for a different character. We'll save that for a different character. About the STCs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But um, I, I should be punished more heavily than the others think, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. I killed a kid. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> And what would that be? Um, you know the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall? I got hold of it sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, I see, that is uh, quite the revelation. Yo, she stole it? What the fuck? She was embezzling LP, dude. <laughs> Like, it's like full-on money laundering. What the fuck? I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't all that... Uh, I mean, I, uh, I'm i really sorry and I won't do it again. Hmm, this matter is rather out of juris uh, my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I will have to consult Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how to best to proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Miss Zoe, but I will have to ask you to give us some privacy. Privacy. Damn, dude. 
embezzling that LP, dude? God damn. All right. Uh. Wait, so are we done or what? Or, or do we go back to the... Okay, I guess we'll just leave. Alright, sweet. Let's get the fuck out of here. Um... Uh, so are we allowed- are we still allowed to use the LP or what? <laughs> well, that- that would be nice. Oh. Zoe? Penny? There's something I want to talk to you about. Could you come meet me in front of the school stairs? You know where we first met? I'll be waiting. Okay. I'm away, BB. What's up, BB? <laughs> Time to reveal my secret identity! And it's just like a manky. Hasta la vista. The six of us thought up that catchphrase back when we created the team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know. <laughs> L plus ratio plus cringe, plus you fell off. Anyway, about the LP thing, I thought I was going down big time for hacking the league point system, but they're letting me off easy. What happened? The Pokemon League said they'll be- they'll waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe that. Wow. You're literally- it's- <laughs> the, the Pokemon League is literally the CIA. This is what CIA do with hackers. Instead of, like, arresting them, they turn them into white hackers, which are hackers that help fucking, you know, protect and, like, build up their systems. Doing the exact same shit. Director Clavelin, that Gita lady, kept com com complimenting me, like, a weird amount. Apparently I have outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you out here to meet like this. I'm still not so great with people face to face. I never seem to find the right words, but, um... Th thank you so much. You saved Team Star, and my friends along with it. I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all you've done, so here. Oh, Draco Meteor? Fuck yeah, that is such a good move. That is such a good fucking move. I'm sure you'll put this to good use. <laughs> Hell yeah, I am. And one more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. So next time, I'll be the one helping you, Zoe. Hell yeah, dog. Be seeing you then. Hasta la vista. Oh, you're not going to do the pose, dude? Sag. Hey, let's go! Noise. Should we treat- Should we teach Draco Meteor to, uh, Salamence? What do you think? I think we should. Whoops, sorry. Uh, yeah, special. Oh, no, it's special attack, isn't it? Mmm... Fuck. No, it would be better if it was... Uh, Salamence is a physical, not a special, so a physical move would be a lot better. Uh, mmm, fuck. It's kind of annoying. Fuck it. We'll wait. In the meantime, we only have one more thing left to do, my boys, and that is to go for the Elite Four, which is right here. How do we get over there? Just go to the side, I guess. All right, let's go. Elite Four time, boys. Is it this way? Wait, where's the gate? <laughs> oh, we have to climb? 
Oh, yeah, I guess so. Right. There's a gate to the left? In town? Really? Nah, no, fuck it, I'll just climb it. Oh. That was a nice, that was a weird glitch. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Time to destroy the league? Well, let's find out. I mean, because we still have to catch uh, the remaining... Uh... Oh, okay, well, I guess we just teleported here. Because <laughs> we also have to catch the remaining uh, Pokemon and finish the finish the decks. So... Who do we need to train up, actually? Is the real question. I guess we'll leave Cyril Edge. There's still the final story arc. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But we're probably gonna have to, like... We're probably gonna have to, um... Oh, what the fuck? Why is this... Why is this such low level? Okay, cool. This random student with a level 14 Meowth standing in front of the league. Hello? Okay, I'm not even going to bother with this guy then. Alright. Oh, that one's a decent level? Oh, okay, okay. Let me go for it then. Take me on, bitch. Oh yeah, there's those swords, right, that are stuck on- stuck in the ground or whatever. Oh, crocodile. Oh, actually, shit, this is a bad type up, I think. Wait, it's dark, right? This is dark ground? Which one is it? Is it-, is it is it ghost or is it ghost or psychic that's the one that's gonna hit? I I always get this mixed up. Dark is weak against psychic or ghost. Neither, both are bad. Okay, great. <laughs> Oh, Dark Resist both. Okay. Yeah, the Dark Psychic and Ghost thing, I always get them mixed up. I'm like, which one's weak and which one's not again? Dark is immune to Psychic and Resist Ghost. Okay. Uh, wait, what was the Pokemon? Fuck, I didn't see it. Oh, bronze on Okay, that's fine. Dark is counter for Ghost and Psychic, okay. And Dark is weak against... Bug, right? No. Bug is strong against Psychic. Yeah, Bug is strong against Psychic. Bug and... Oh, Bug is also strong against Dark. Okay. Fighting, fighting Bug and Fairy. Okay, gotcha. God oh, damn, I always get that shit mixed up. Alright, nice. Oh, Cerule Edge? Uh... <laughs> if it's Cerule Edge, then I guess... We'll just use Crunch.
Goddamn Salamance, why are you so thick, bro? Cover up the whole fucking screen. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, there's a whole fucking crowd gathered around me. Alright, let's heal up again. I think we got our team, though. We got a pretty good team right now. What's up? Just a heads up, there's a glitch in the Elite Four battle where the music repeats the first part without dropping the beat. It can be fixed with a restart. The Elite Four music is banging, you don't want to miss it. I bet. You can let me know if an issue happens. Here we are, Elite Four, baby. Oh, hello, crazy hair lady. Hello, Zoe. So this is it. You've decided to face the Pokemon League. The final test you must pass to become a champion is held here in this building. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart, Zoe. I look forward to meeting you again soon. Hell yeah, girl. You must want to kill yourself in the summer with that hair. Let me in! Uh, yeah, let's do it. It appears you have a total of eight gym badges. Very well, you may proceed to the interview room. Hell yeah, dog. So I have to fight them all, like, five in a row, right? Oh, interview time. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. Hottest character in the game. Thank you for coming today. Please do have a seat. I, Rico, will be your interviewer. Let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. We begin with the interview. First things first, let me see how many gym badges you have. Excellent, you have all eight. Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions if you wouldn't mind, Zoe. Please think carefully, as you may automatically fail the interview depending on your answers. Oh, shit. Let's begin. How did you get here today? I wrote on my Pokemon. Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you're enrolled in. Yuva! Ah, that's right. So what brings you to the Pokemon League today? Uh, I came to become a champion. Duh! Yes, indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Now, what do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? I want to find treasure. I see. Interesting. Tell me, which of the eight gyms gave you the most difficulty? Uh... What was the last one? Glissado, right? That was the ice place? Yeah. I see. And what was the name of the gym leader you faced there? Oh shit, what was her name? Uh, fuck, what was her name? Grusha, right? Okay, yeah, it's Grusha, nice. I'm glad you seem to remember. I'm glad you're not entirely stupid. But do you remember which type of Pokemon Grusha used? Yes, ice. <laughs> you slick motherfucker. <laughs> Wonderful. Building the skills needed for the champion assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get here, Zoe. I did. What was the category of the Pokemon you chose to be your first partner? Weed Kitty, baby! Very good, very good. Now please forgive me, but I'm going to repeat a previous question. Remind me, what do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? Treasure, baby. Ah, 
yes, that's right. Next is the final question for this interview. Bring it! <laughs> Where is the One Piece? <sighs> Shit! <laughs> do you like Pokemon, Zoe? Fuck yeah, dude, dog! Who would say no? It's like, good, me too. I love her earrings, they're sick. Good job, kiddo. That about wraps up the interview. And let me be the first to congratulate you, Zoe. You failed. <laughs> you just passed the first part of the champion assessment. Oh, easy. I don't battle you? On your first try too, no less. Don't think anyone's done that since Nimona. But anyway, time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. The second segment is what we call the Elite Test. And you'll be facing the Elite Four in Pokemon battles. Okay. I guess that's pretty obvious from the name of the test, huh? Anyway, you're the best the League has to offer. You'll be facing us four in a row, no turning back. This won't be a cakewalk, I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready, then go into the room behind me. Um... Okay. Should we... We should buy some more revives, huh? Just in case. Let's, let's, let's go... Let's go buy some more revives. Oh, wait, we can't. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Well then. This is gonna suck. <laughs> Here we go. Let's, uh, let's YOLO it. <sighs> Alright, fighting you first, I guess. Now then, let's get this started, eh? Let good old Rika be the first of the Elite Four to take you on. I'd say I'll go easy on you, but I'd be lying. Think fast. <laughs> Just punches you in the face. All right, let's fucking go, boys. Shit. Immediately bad. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Should Psycho Cut work? No. No music bug? Okay, good, good, good. Whiskash is pretty fucking beefy though. Alright, nice. With a crit? Woo! Dawn fan. Uh Dawn fan. Is Donphan just ground, or is it ground steel? It's just ground, right? Oh, okay, this this song is a bang. This song is a banger. You're right. Uh, okay, then probably Flower Trick should do it. God. The music, dude. Your cat rolls this fight? Oh, okay. Bet. Oh, damn. Dawn fan survived that? Ah! Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Camerupt. Uh, Camerupt is fire type, so ground should do it. Pooper should do this. Oh, 
he's so fucking beefy, dude. No. You know what's weird? I just realized my Pokemon don't have any water moves, like at all. Oh, never mind. One shot it. I don't have a single water type move or water Pokemon. Dog Trio. Uh, Flower Trick should do it. Or Claude Sire. Uh, Claude Sire is what? Poison ground. So, what would be the most effective here? Psychic? Oh, it's Terra type is pure ground? Oh, okay, then I'll just leave. <clears throat> if that's the case, then I'll just flower trick it to shit. You got a clod side too? Alright, let's go, Wee Kitty. Let's go, Mary Jane. God. Why is she so hot? I love the ground terror. It's just like an earth. Run! Come on. One shot it. Nice. Easy clap, boys. Easy clap. Let's go! One down, baby! <laughs> oh, you fucking cutie. Flower Trick is so OP, dude. It's actually stupid. Talk about unfair. No way I was ever gonna win that one. Stilda, what a great battle. Felt good even to lose. Not a whole lot of trainers have the skill to make it past the elite test, but who knows? I'm beginning to think you might be one of the few that do, Zoe. Better stay on your toes, though. The second of the Elite Four is stronger than me. You're up next, Squirt. Come on out. Oh, okay. Now's the time to use this. Oh, wow. Did you lose, Rika? Yeah, I did. She's no, so, she's no pushover, let me tell you. I'll be watching from the side. Avenge me if you can, eh? Yep, I will. Okay. Let's, uh, let's heal up here. Alright, what type is she? Do you guys know? What's her typing? Steel? Alright, so roll edge. You're up. It's so cool you made it this far. But this is where you say bye bye, Miss. All my Pokemon are super tough. Your weak attacks won't work on them at all. They'll bounce right off. You'll see. I can't wait for you to meet my friends, so here they go. <laughs> Alright, motherfucker. Come at me. She's like, she's like four years old. All right, well, uh, guess I'll just quickly destroy you right here with a flare blitz. And then I will bit a blade after this. Bronzong. No, nope. keep a current Pokemon out. 
This is going to be such an easy sweep, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> this is just child abuse. <laughs> this is just child abuse at this point, bro. Corviknight. Alright, exerting pressure. It's Flare Blitz. <laughs> this is actually stupid, boys. This is actually dumb. Magnezone. Ooh, I love Magnezone. Oh, what a cool fucking Pokemon. Get a blade, heal it back up. Oh, it survived that one. Okay. Oh, it has sturdy. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. It's got light screen. It's like, this'll help. <laughs> yeah, about that. It's like, I'm helping, guys. <laughs> Oh, Leaf Storm? That's a good move, actually. Oh, no, but it's a special attack, isn't it? Uh, I'll get rid of Energy Ball, actually. Yeah, I'll get rid of Energy Ball. It is special, but it's stronger than uh, Energy Ball, so. Oh, Tinkaton. Hey, Joey. Fellow Aussie man here. Yo. Any advice on where to go to practice doing VA work or Atlacast starting a portfolio so I can get myself out there? Would love to do VA stuff. Uh, just, you know. Pr Holy fucking shit. I've never actually seen Tinkaton yet. I heard this guy is OP as shit. Um, any advice on where to go practice doing VA work? I mean, streaming is a great way to practice VA work. I practice a lot of my voice over stuff like that. Um, yeah, and I guess just like making a portfolio, just recording yourself, doing a, a bunch of different voices, sending those off. You know, online there's a lot of like people that need VAs and stuff. Alright, see ya. <laughs> God, that was the easiest sweep. Holy fuck. Well then, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You get fucked! Piece of shit. <laughs> I wanted to take revenge on Eureka! Pretty sure you mean take revenge for me, squirt. Don't think I did anything wrong by you. Hate to say it, but you lost, Poppy. Better call the next guy. Oh, that's right. I haven't... I haven't had to do this in a long time. Mm-hmm. It's your turn, Mr. Larry! Wait! Is that my boy Larry? <gasps> my boy Larry's back! Hey, yo! He's an Elite Four member as well? Hello there. It's me, Larry. Yo! Larry the Goat, dude! Alright, so Larry is... I guess, is he still normal type? I assume he's still normal type, right? Oh, he's flying type now. Anime clap, anime clap, anime clap. Hey, deadbeat with the eight months. Let's go. Thank you, dude. Thank you for the eight months. All right, he's flying type, which means... Poor mod. All right, let's do it. He's, dude, he's doing that double shift. So you made it this far. I serve as a member of the Elite Four too, yes. Unfortunately for me. At my gym, I use normal type Pokemon, since I feel they have a lot in common with me. But well, the boss told me to use a different type here. So if you have any complaints, please take them up with La Primera. 
All right. Bet. <clears throat> Sleep. <sighs> For fuck's sake. Anyway, time to get to work. All right, let's do it. Love you, Larry, but uh, you're gonna have to. Dude, those gloves go hard. Those gloves he go. He's got hard. Yeah, what if he just like pulls out a cigarette? He's like, oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> All right. Uh, ooh. That's right. You're grass flying, aren't you? Fuck. Oh, that's not a good start. Okay, that's not a good start at all. Oh, never mind, I flinched. Flinch God? Flinch God? Ah, oh, damn. Larry cosplay win. I could do a Larry cosplay, actually. <laughs> Alright, cool. Nice, Palmer. Altaria. Uh... Altaria's dragon flying, right? You just play rough, we'll do it. Yeah, I'll use I'll use fairy on it. I unfortunately don't have any ice moves. Ice ice would have fucking destroyed Altaria with the times four, but this will do. Oh shit! Ah! That's bad. Got it. Nice. Staraptor. Uh, Alright, let's bring back Pormo. I like Staraptor. Alright, Thunderfang should do this. Oh, wow. Oh, fucking this Brave Bird. Holy shit! Hey, yo! Chill! You've got to be fucking shitting me. You've got to be shitting me! Of course! Of course I missed there! Oh my god! I'm so... So annoying. <laughs> oh, that is so... Actually annoying. Oh, fuck's sake, bro. Yo, Larry's doing his job. Yo, Larry doesn't fuck around, dude. Ori Corio. I guess I'll just keep this out. If it's if it's a flying terror. Oh, this guy, right? Uh, I guess I'll just keep using Bitter Blade on it. Oh, what's this? Oh, cool, of course. Uh... Okay, just come on, just hit it. Come on, Sorolage, you got this. Just hit it. 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 Good. Good. <laughs> My man. Flamigo! Uh... Pooper? No, Pooper can't do anything. I'll, just, I'll use Salamance. Yeah, it's gonna be a pure flying, because it's a terror. I would electrocute the Flamingo if my poor mot was still alive. Unfortunately, it is not, because it missed the fucking Thunderfang like a dumbass. Uh, 
I guess I'll just Dragon Claw it? At this point? Let me guess, does this Flamigo also have Brave Bird? I have a feeling it might. <laughs> okay. Oh, throat chop, holy fuck. Just, <laughs> Could you imagine getting throat chopped by a Flamingo? All right, easy. All right, cool. Three down, two to go. Let's go, Salamance. Nice. Dude, flamingos are scary, you're right. You're a lot stronger than I recall. No wonder La Primera likes you. Now then, I suppose the final member of the Elite Four is next. It's your turn, Hassel. <laughs> is he is he dead? Now where could he be? Uh, don't think he heard you, Larry. Come on in, asshole. <laughs> Larry, you you may need to speak up just a little bit more. Asshole. Asshole, you're up next! Oh yeah, this guy. I forgot. Mm -hmm. Hello there, Zoe. It delights me to see you here. As for you, Larry, I see you made Rika do the shouting again, hmm? Shut the fuck up. Alright, uh, let's bring my boy Paulmont back from the dead. Boom. And then we will... Cha-cha. 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 Alright, what do we got? Dragon type? Should we start off with Mary Jane? Since she does have play rough. We'll start off with Mary Jane. He does not look like a dragon type user. I was of course absolutely certain you would make it to me eventually. Young sprouts truly do grow with outstanding speed, yes. But I never for a moment imagined we would be facing each other so soon. Now a teacher's duty is to guide students and aid their growth. But I think I shall forget about my role as a teacher for a moment. And wield my all my might for the sole purpose of defeating you. I am Hassel, the dragon guarding the final fortress of the Elite Four. Prepare to learn firsthand how the fiery breath of ferocious battle feels. I bet. Let's go. Come at me, you fucking banana bunch having ass. Oh, no. Dude, I fucking love Noivern. What a cool Pokemon. Shit, it's flying, isn't it? I need to one-shot this. Otherwise, I'm fucked. Alright. Please? Okay. Oh, no. It's gonna fuck me up, isn't it? It's got like aerial ace or something. Air slash, same thing. No, I survive. Okay, good. All right, cool, cool, cool. Mary Jane coming in clutch. Dragalg. Uh, now nah, let's keep it. Oh, this guy. Whoa. Wait, he's from... Oh, shit. Well. Oh, it's Poison Dragon. I see. Okay. Um... If it's Poison Dragon... Will Dragon-type... Moves affect it? Or does it... Hold on, does it have Levitate? That's all I need to know. Does it have Levitate? No, okay. 
then Pooper is the way to go. You never know with these kinds of Pokemon. Mmm, yummy, Water Absorb. Dude, Water Absorb is such a broken fucking thing for Pooper. It's so broken for Pooper. Flapple. Uh, that's Grass Dragon, so... Salamence, I guess. Hopefully Dragon Stab will get this guy. Dragon Claw. Nice. Very good. Haxorus! Still one of the coolest fucking names for any Pokemon. Well, you're about to get fucked, so... And Baxcalibur? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I saw someone in chat saying Hassel looks like he'd have the voice like Alan Rickman. Whoa, what the fuck is that thing? What a weird looking fucking thing. Come, oh great dragon, and take a Terradrill as a crown. That's my horrible uh, Alan Rickman voice. Do you like it? Pseudo legendary dragon of this game. All right, let's see how it will take my fucking thing. Ooh. Oh shit. No, that's times four. Fuck. Well then. That's bad. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> well then. Uh, it's a dragon terror, right? Oh, right, outrage. I got outrage. I forgot. Yeah. All right, outrage. It is. Got it. Nice. Let's go. Get fucked. Let's go, Nylape! Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I gotta take a shit. <laughs> I'm gonna give him an Alan Rickman voice then. Y you really did it! Uh, wait, shit. Uh, uh, uh. Huh. Wonder Bro. I'm, I'm just so proud of you. <laughs> oh, don't cry, Grandpa Hassel. Baby. Wanna hug? Damn, he is emotionally unstable. Sorry about all this, Zoe. The old man can get like that sometimes. So, what did I do? Why did you get so overwhelmed? It's hard to do an overwhelmed Alan Rickman voice. Guess I've got to do the talking. Anyway, your result for the elite test of the champion assessment is... A fail. <laughs> a pass, no doubt about it. Yeah! You're tougher than steel. Yep. You do this so beautifully. Ten points to Gryffindor. Congratulations. I'd say you're good to go, but... There's actually just a wee bit more to the champion assessment. This will be your final test. See the b door back there? Our fearless commander, the final opponent you'll face for your test, is waiting beyond it. Her skills are so amazing, she was able to strong arm all of us into joining the Elite Four. You won't find a mightier champion. Though I think you'll do fine, kiddo. You beat me after all. I'll patch up your team on the house, so don't you lose, you hear? Oh, sweet, cool. 
really love your Pokemon, me. So I'll cheer for you as hard as I can. Oh, uh, good luck. Even a baby dragon can free fire. Well, uh, guess you gotta have your subs, huh? You can do it. We all know you can. Yeah. Now go, young Zoe. Your hands may be small, but let them see a great victory. Cheers, thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. All right, fuck, this is it. Elite four time, baby. Uh, I don't know who to bring out first. Who do you recommend I bring out first? Uh... <laughs> 10 points to Zorador. I forgot her team. Bring out your best. Uh, I guess... Salamence or Cerul Edge? Let's bring out Salamence. Let's bring out Salamence. Alright, here we go, boys. Lead four time. Oh, I mean champion, rather. We already did the Elite Four. Champion time, let's do it. <clears throat> Oh, it's outside. Epic! <sighs> Welcome, Zoe. It gives me great joy that you've managed to make it all the way to the pinnacle of the Pokemon League. The final test is a battle against me, the top champion. To pass, all you need to do is win. But before we get started, I should apologize for one thing for the savage beating that I'm about to give you. <laughs> you see, I have a trait that some might say is inappropriate for the League Chairwoman. I am utterly incapable of holding back when it comes to Pokemon battles. Maybe that's why nobody's passed this test recently. It's a bit of a problem, to be honest. But you, you might manage something wonderful, like Champion Nimona did. So are you ready for your final test? I want to see the true measure of your talent. All right. Let's do it. Here we go. Okay, it's Parthro to start off. Oh, they brought back this. Okay, let's crunch it to start off. Yeah, they brought back the OG music, dude. Fuck yeah. Please continue. Uh, yeah. The OGs are crying right now, dude. Hell yeah. Oh shit, it knows Dazzling Gleam. Oh, never mind, it's fine. Yeah, it sounds like a mix of a bunch of champion uh, music. What? How is it faster? Hey, yo? Oh, it's a speed tie. Uh, Veluza. Shit, what type is Veluza again? Veluza is... Water, right? Water Psychic, okay. Oh, Water Psychic, so... No, mm. Either Poor Mott or Mary Jane. I think I'll Mary Jane it. <laughs> I heard with this game, uh... Oh yeah, this guy. That's right. Flower trick. Boom jams, get the fuck out. That deserves a standing ovation. Uh, you never sat down. You never sat down. I only get standing ovations, motherfucker. 
Go Goat? That's the grass type, right? Oh, of course it starts raining when I bring out Cerule Edge. Are you serious? Alright, get the fuck out. Dude, the ad dude, the RNG is not on my side. It's just making it even more difficult. Uh, Avalog is ice type, so we'll keep Cerulege out. She's got a real weird mix. Alright, very nice. Oh, that was a crit? Damn, alright. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Woo! All right, bit of blade, shabam. Avalog is a tanky boy, to be fair. All right, nice. Kin Gambit? What is that? This must be a new one. What is King Gambit? Steel? Steel Dark? Okay, I'll, I'll leave Cerulege out. Is it a chess piece? What the fuck is that? Oh, it's like a Shogun, dude. That's sick. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, Bishop has an evolution now? Yo, that's sick as fuck. Okay, well, we have to get that. Code. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Wow. Right on. Uh, I guess then I will poopa time. Earthquake should get it. Oh god. Okay. Good. 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 You've got to be shitting me. You've got to be shitting me with that. Oh my god. No fucking way. In the last fight? This is actually fucked up. The game is not on my side today, guys. There we go. Get, get fucked. Jesus Christ, dude. Alright, fuck out of you. One more left. Glimora. What is that? Okay, Psycho Laugh. What is that? What is that? Uh, Terra's Rock? Rock Poison, okay, low kick. That's a- that's a cool- that's kind of a cool looking Pokemon. Alright, she's about to Terra it. Is it a- is it a Rock Terra? Okay, it's a Rock Terra. So, fighting is the good way to go. Fighting or ground. Alright, one more. I'm not even going to use a Terra, boys. I'm just going to fucking take it out without a Terra. And here comes the win. Let's go! Easy clap. Let's go, dude. Fuck yeah, we did it! Clap, clap, clap. 
Hell yeah, dog. Nice. We're still in the rain, though. Such overwhelming power. Such amazing skill. Much wow. It seems Paldi has gained another wonderful trainer to be proud of. Congratulations. It's my honor to call you Champion Zoe. Congratulations is right. Now I can really say you're good to go. Let's go, the squad! Yay! You did it, man! Congratulations. <laughs> Ugh, crying again? You Pokemon trainers are the treasure of Paldia. And amid that treasure, champions are the jewels that shine the brightest. Champion Zoe, it is now your duty to set an example for all of the trainers of Paldia. Now, allow me to walk you back to the entrance. I'm certain you'll find a familiar face awaiting you. Let's fucking go, boys! Hell yeah. <clears throat> Zoe, Zoe! God damn, why does it have to be raining right now, dude? Oh man, I can just t I can tell just by looking at you. You did it, right? You became a champion. Yep. <laughs> what if I said no? It's like, no, I got fucked up. Thanks for rubbing it in, though. <laughs> I knew all along. I got word from La Primera when you cleared the elite test. Oh man, Zoe, I'm a champion, and now you're a champion. We're basically like sisters. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> ayo. <laughs> Which means we're true equals, you and me, both champion ranked trainers. This is amazing. N now that you've made it here, I've got one thing to say. Let let's you and me be best rivals for life. No. Oops, couldn't hear you. I'll say it again. Let's you and me be best rivals for life. <laughs> no. Sorry, not gonna stop until I hear a yes. Let's you. <laughs> Okay, wait. You will be my rival, won't you? No? You? Me? Rivals? Yes? No. Oh, is it just gonna keep repeating? Yeah, this is gonna keep repeating. But please. Please, I don't- I don't want to! There's a red flag! There's a red flags, man. I don't want- I don't want to commit to this relationship, dude. Alright, fine. Ha, I knew it! <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. <laughs> All right, you know what rivals do? Battle their absolute hearts out. I'm gonna hit you with everything this time. You ready? Do wait a moment, Champion Nimona, you crazy bitch. Huh, what's the matter, Primera? The champion assessment has only just ended. I believe arrest is in order for Champion Zoe. Salamence and the others. Champions must be understanding toward their opponents. Ugh, right. There I go, getting overexcited again. Sorry, Zoe and Salamence. I have five other Pokemon. You ungrateful woman. I also must ask, is this roadside really the setting? Is this roadside the setting, uh, really the setting you two want for your first battle as true equals and rivals? Hmm, now that you mention it, that's a good point. In that case, can we use one of the Pokemon League battle courts? Surely there's somewhere more fitting. A place with special meaning for the two of you, perhaps. Special meaning, huh? Hmm, let me see. Anyway, leap to mine, Zoe? Uh, behind your house. Ha, <laughs> a beach out back, huh? Yeah, the place where we had our first battle might work. <laughs> but on the other hand, to me, it's just kind of my backyard, you know? A little ordinary. Any place else comes to mind? Mesa Goza, I guess. Mesa Goza? Good, good call. The place where we set out on our journey. That reminds me, Zoe. Remember back when Director Cavill explained the treasure hunt? You know how he told us to go in search of our own treasure? Well, I know what treasure I got out of all this. I found a true rival. Someone who can stand up to me at my full capabilities. And a wife! It's like... Help! <laughs> Those eyes are just like... Help! Blink twice if... If prisoner. That's right, I mean you. I'm so glad I got to meet you, Zoe. Anyway, that being said... I'll be waiting for you at the battle court in Mesagoza's central plaza. See you there. Help. Help. Gita, help me. 
The respect you two share is palpable, even a bit enviable to be honest. I am known as La Primera, but even when facing me in the final test of a champion assessment, Champion Nimona didn't reveal her full might. In you, I su suspect she has found someone she can battle without holding anything back. Alright. Uh, time to battle Nimona, I guess. First, though, we will go heal up. And then I will take a piss. And then we will fight our uh, crazy new wife, I suppose. <laughs> what if we just never fight her? She's just standing there for the rest of eternity. She's like, she'll come one day. <laughs> I know she will. <laughs> All right. I'm going to save here. And then piss time. I'll be right back. Alright, I guess it is time to go and fight Nimona. Or is or should we grind a little bit before we fight Nimona? What's the plan? What's the level cap like? Or the level jump rather? You're on your level? Okay, sweet. <clears throat> Let's do it then. Ugh. Ah, uh, where is she? Over here. Oops. 
Uh... Oh, it's this way. There she is. All right, let's do it. Any second now. I'm counting down every second. Ah, oh, there you are, Zoe. You ready for a battle between champions? Because all these folks here seem ready to watch. Word got around, I guess. All right. And out of every single person gathered here, I'm the most excited by a mile. I'm wet as hell. <laughs> Yo, the whole gang is here. The stage is set. It's my all out power versus your strength in full fruition. Let's see who comes out on top. Let's fucking go, boys. I'm ready. Fucking go. Yo, is this an idol song? Oh, da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. oh, this is an old track too. This is based off an old track as well. Ah, uh, fuck. This is not a good start. <laughs> this is not a good start. I am going to switch out real quick. To... Ooh. Shit. Maybe not. What should I do? Let's swap to Mary Jane for a sec. Yeah, Salamence is gonna get fucked because he's flying type. Oh, you stealth rock, okay. This melody is used in another rival battle, I'm pretty sure. I remember that particular melody line. Dude, that drum is going ham. That double time? She. Uh, poor mot. Poor mot is fighting electric, so psychic should do it. Psycho Cut should do it. Yo, keyboard player going ham! Oh my god, that keyboard player was going ham! Oh fuck, it's faster. Oh, it survived. Okay, hold on. I don't want to lose Cerule Edge this quickly, so I'm going to full restore it. Come on, piano. Go off. Orthworm. Uh, that's ground steel, right? Orthworm. It's ground steel, I believe. Oh, here's the fucking. Dude, the fucking. <laughs> Dude, these musicians need a raise. I, I'm sorry, I'm I'm too distracted by how fucking good this mu these this musicianship is. Holy shit! Oh fuck! Oh no, we survived. We good. Toby Fox going ham, dude. I've always said, like, even during the Undertale period, like, 
I've always thought Toby Fox was a more talented, uh, like, musician than, like, anything. In my, in my humble opinion. I always thought he was a better musician than, uh, than a storyteller or a game programmer. Uh, what was it? Guja, right? Uh, I guess I can just outrage it. I fucking love Guja, dude. Alright, Outrage should do it. Nice. Got him. Da -da 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 -da. The Dunsparce is... Which one's the Dunsparce again? It's Fairy, right? No, the Dunce Pass is Fairy, I believe. Is it not? Okay. I'm trusting you guys. I'll just keep using Outrage on it. <laughs> Alright, Loki. Come on, hit it. Oh, it's a three-segmented one. Yo. Oh, fuck. Come on, Riley. Oh, no Dragon Rush? Holy shit. Oh, my God. That keyboard player. I'm sorry. That keyboard player's going ham. It's actually ridiculous. It's a one in a hundred chance. Wow. That it's a three... That's pretty cool. Got him. Okay, cool quavel. Here we go. Is this the last one, by the way? Starter versus starter. My last Pokemon. We're gonna fight with everything we've got. Yeah, I don't know how to tell you, man. I'm I'm about to fuck you up. <laughs> I am about to fuck you up with Fire Tree. All right, let's watch the easy clap. That run. All right, who's going to survive? <laughs> I love dancing, duck. I still have never seen a single actual move from Kukwavel yet, because I always just one-shot it. <laughs> Let's see if it'll survive this. It did it. <laughs> Well, <laughs> never, I've never seen us hit, use a single move, and I don't think I ever will. Alrighty. No lie, but someone on Twitter, at the boy 181 showed that there's a 6-0 FPS mod for Scarlet, Violet, and it makes the game look so much better. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not surprised by that. Hey, get fucked, Demona! I'm handing in that divorce paper, too. Hey, yo, you crying? You... You did it! <laughs> this is legit incredible. You're the strongest out there, Zoe. It's just like, it's going for a dab. I mean, you knocked me flat, and I was giving you absolutely everything I had. Everything I... I... Oh man, Pokemon battling, am I right? It's so much better, so much more fun than I ever, ever knew. Thanks for that incredible match. You beat me for real this time. 
Hey! <laughs> Dylan, you son of a bitch! That's, that's some predator shit, dude. Now let's give ourselves a minute and have a quick break, Zoe. Before round two. Hey, yo, we done, bro. Which Pokemon should I bring out this time? Decisions, decisions. <laughs> Damn. Good shit. <laughs> Phase two. Just the, the fucking Dark Souls. Just da -da, da -da, da -da. Let's go, boys. Fucking did it. And now it's time for the final story. Yo, Arvin here. Bow wow. Whoa, down boy. Don't jump up like that. Seems like hearing your voice is old Mabostiff here all worked up, Zoe. Oh, but that's not why I called. Nearly forgot. You remember that we talked about earlier? Before, about going to Area Zero? Yeah. Of course you do. You little know-it-all. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? Well, all the effort you've been putting in around Paldia has really helped you make a name for yourself. Built up some goodwill, that's for sure. So, I've been able to secure two allies who want to go to Area Zero with us. That should have us ready to tackle anything. So now, we've all, we've all just got to get there. First step, we'll be gathering at Area Zero. I'll be ready and waiting at the Zero Gate. I'll send you the location on your phone, too. Don't leave me hanging forever. Alright. <laughs> we'll be waiting. Alright. Cool, 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 boys. Fuck yeah. Finish that story up. <clears throat> okay. So, we have a choice here, boys. We can either, right now, we, we have a choice here. We can either go and head to Area Zero right now, or, yeah, no spoilers for this, guys, chat. I, I want to I wanna keep this spoiler free. So we can head to Area Zero right now, or we can grind a little bit, maybe catch some Pokemon, fill up the decks, all that kind of stuff. What should we do? You can grind in area zero. You don't need to grind. All right, well then, fuck it. You know what? Let's just go to area zero. <laughs> Let's just do this story, boys. Uh, where are we heading? Right there? All right. Area zero time, baby. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's fucking do it. Hmm. Yo, Eric's coming in with the raid. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the raid, Eric. Appreciate you, bro. How you doing? You guys good? How's all the raid is doing? I'm going to buy some full restores. Whoops, not that many. Uh, let's see. Should we get some Dusk Balls, actually? Oh, yeah, we should buy some revives. Good plan. Uh, let's get 25, just in case. Dusk and Quick Balls. Okay, we can get some more dust balls. Whoops. Uh, let's go... Let's get 17. I'm gonna pay with LP. Get some more quick balls as well. Uh, let's see. Ultra Balls? Yeah, fuck it. We'll get some Ultra Balls, too. Have you heard about the lag fix? Oh, the thing about, uh... 
You talking about like saving it to your system or, or whatever it is? I heard it doesn't fix it a whole lot though. I heard it's actually not that different. All right, let's see. Let me see if I can get some new moves here. We need some more... We need an ice move, don't we? We should probably get an ice move. Or is it? Can any of my Pokemon learn these moves? <laughs> oh, I can learn Ice Punch. Oh, I should give uh, Ice Punch to maybe Pormont. Oh, I can't even make it. I need Meditate Sweat. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, oh, an ice beam. Uh, I need to kill more Sheldons and Cryonicles. Yeah, we need, we should probably learn it. Teach it Ice Punch. So we need to get some Meditite Sweat, because that would be a good move for either Pormont or uh, or Annihilate to have. So let's go. Let's go get... Let's go get Metatite. Uh... Let me look it up real quick. Is there a search function? I don't think there's a search function. Alright, let's do A to Z then. Ma 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 Uh, there's also a lot of metatites around here. Let's maybe let's just go here. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. Oh, there's metachamps around here. Yo, some guy called Kenji with the ten gift subs. Let's go. Thank you very much, brother. Appreciate you, homie. Thank you for the 10 gift subs, man. Okay, someone said inside the cave here. Oh yeah, this cave, right. Was it around here? Oh, yep, there it is. Ah. And let me just get the Metachan. Actually, I don't even think I have Metachan yet. No, I don't. I'll just catch the Metachan. Got it. Should I get two ice punches or just one? Whoa, this camera. <laughs> hey, yo, chill. Boom, got it. Okay, sweet, 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 sweet. Ah, shit. Okay, I've got enough of the sweat now. Uh... What do you think? Should we get some more sweat? Just in case? Might as well. Okay. 
Okay, I got it. Uh, oh, fuck's sake. Kibble, stop! Kibble, please. I don't want to kill you. I've, I've already got you. Alright, let's get the fuck out. Alright, uh... Okay, we got the sweat. So we're good for that. Alright. Let's get that ice punch. Get that ice punch. Yes. Yes. Who should we teach it to? Probably uh, Annihilate, right? Fuck, it already knows so many good moves, though. Um. Shit. I guess, yeah, we'll teach you the poor mod for the coverage. That's a good plan. Uh, okay, let's see. Where is it? There it is, Ice Punch. No, certain, no not Salamance. Poor mod. Get rid of either Thunder Fang or Double Shock. Thunder Fang or Double Shock, what do you think? Fang? Yeah, I'm also thinking Fang, maybe. Alright, let's get rid of Thunder Fang then. Yeah, Double Shock is too powerful to not use. Okay, um, and I also want to teach Poor Mod a little bit of a better, stronger move? Like, stronger fighting move, I guess? I want to teach it a bit of- a, a better, uh, fighting move. Uh, so, let's see. Do I have anything here that we can give it? Bulk up, no. Body press? Oh, close combat, you're right. We got that, didn't we? Yeah, close combat would be really good. Where is it? There it is. I mean, Drain Punch is also goaded. Well, we'll just give it to it. Yep, get rid of Arm Thrust. Okay, nice. Okay, uh... Draco Meteor is fine. I think everything else is okay. In terms of... Coverage? In terms of type coverage, I think we're good in terms of the moves. I do maybe want to teach Mary Jane a different move instead of Leaf Storm. You're good, you're good. Maybe replace Sludge Wave with something else. Oh, Water Move. That's right. We need to teach it a Water Move. Can Pooper learn a Water Move? No, it can't. Hmm. Oh, it can. It can learn Water Pulse. Oh, no, but it needs to be a physical Water Move, huh? Physical water move. Hold on. Let's see. Water pulse, chilling water, water wave, surf, liquidation. Oh, liquidation. Yeah, liquidation is the way to go. I need one more Aracuda scale. Yeah, I need one more Aracuda scale. 
Aracuda. Okay. Oh, this fucker. Oh, it's basically just all in the water. Okay. Wait, what? Relearn the move? How do you do that? Oh, remember moves. Oh! Oh, that's pretty cool. You can also exchange materials with LP. Yo, Chewy with the 20 months in a row. Let's fucking go. All right. Um, I'm going to replace Sludge Wave. Okay, hold on a second. I want to exchange materials for LP. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, no. Exchange materials for LP. No, no. I want the materials. Oh, wait, no. Oh, can I buy it with LP? Is that what that's saying? No, I get rid of it, right? And I sell it for LP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I don't want that. I need to go get... I need to go get one more Aracuda material. Uh, so let's just... Let's just go into the water, I guess. It's just anywhere in the water. Let's just head out into the water. See what we can find. Yeet! Let's find an Aracuda. That's a shoulder. Aracuda, 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 Aracuda. Damn, dude, where's this Aracuda? It's a Wingull, that's a Shelda. Aracuda, hello? Oh, there it is. Nice. Found it. I think I literally just need one more, right? There was one more I needed, I believe. Right? Should I kill another one just in case? I'll kill another one just in case. God damn, Salamence is so thick. Done here. Got the scales. Uh, let's go back here. Fuck it. <clears throat> All right. Time to learn liquidation. Yes. I want to teach it to Poopa. And replace Sludge Wave. Nice. Alright, cool. I think we have every typing covered now. We should have every typing covered. So, now it is time to head to Area Zero. Let's do it. <clears throat> 
ドゥンドゥルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルやろ。あ、そうです。ルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルこれはエレクトロバイビー。フィルアップデックスウォーカン。ああ、ちょっとファーキングクライムアップよ。Do, do, 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 do. Oh, hello. Oh, here it is. Hey, over here! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, had to think, I had to really think about that one for a second. This is the Zero Gate. It was made so researchers could try to observe the inside of the great crater of Paldia, what folks call Area Zero. It's our ticket down into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Miraidon was born, or something like that. Maybe it'll be happy that I can, it can finally come back home. Not that I really care or anything. <laughs> Baka. Anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting for us inside the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. Yeah, boys, no spoilers here. No spoilers. I want to know what happens. You guys get to fully experience it, so so no no spoilers, please. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Doing all these voices is fucking on my throat. Whoa, kind of dark in here. Yo, what's up, Nimona? Hola, Zoe. Ivan said there'd be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. Once she heard she'd get to battle awesome Pokemon, she was here in a second. You're an annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you could come in handy for this. Wow, what the fuck? Spoken like a guy who wants to get beaten in a battle, or in real life. I'm ready to throw hands, but more importantly, why is it so dark? And where's the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it is weird that the lights are off. The last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now... Qua? Well now, well, now the lights are on. But why? I, I turned them on. Penny! Seems like they were on power saving mode. What is it, a fucking laptop? So <laughs> I just plugged that bitch in. I hacked into the system controls and overrode the settings. <laughs> I hacked into the mainframe. Oh, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag that I really fucking want. Um, I guess. My name's Penny. Well, hey, we never got to actually talk. I'm Nimona. I'm in class 81A. You must be some kind of tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon battling too? Ugh, you talk like way too much. <laughs> Bruh. The director introduced us. When you need someone good with tech, she's a no-brainer. Anyway, Penny here also agreed in a second when she heard it was to help Zoe. I'm not really the adventuring type, but I owe you, Zoe, and I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old-fashioned like that. And of course, everyone knows me, Arvin, the brilliant, amazing, 
guy with a huge penis, Arvin. My love includes my boss stiff and cooking and... I don't care. Oh, uh, fuck. Hold on. I gotta... Wait, I gotta... I gotta... I gotta do... I gotta do... Biometric identification in progress. Oh, oh it's you. Hello, Zoe. I've been expecting you. Oh, I should do, uh, I should do this instead. And it seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Uh, sorry, who are you? Who? Asked. <laughs> it's my dad. <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> Probably. What? That's Professor Tura? Namona, student ID number 805C001, and Penny. Student ID number 803B121. I thank you for coming. Of course, Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. <laughs> Not sure if you know what the word in person means, Namona, but uh, that ain't it. I mean, maybe not. God damn it. <laughs> I should wait for dialogue to finish. Ivan, did you uh, tell your dad about us? When would I have done that? To begin with, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down into the great, uh, great crater of Paldia. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you see to your right. Oh, okay. Um, father? What is it, my son? Please proceed below. Damn! Shit, dad. Are they not on good terms? Must not be. Wow, shit, dad. Go to area zero. We'll do. Let's go. Bad, bad, dad. Shame. <laughs> Excuse me. Biometric identification in progress. Identity is confirmed. Access granted to lower level. Oh, it opened for us automatically. Not quite. Looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you will be above area zero. Zoe, you have brought Mariah on with you? Mm -hmm. I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize Moridon's gliding capabilities, you should be able to descend into the depths to reach Area Zero. What? Isn't there, like, an elevator or something? And wait, did you say Moridon can fly? Uh, yeah, dog. I made it grow wings. When you reach the bottom, I will get in touch once again. I hope your trip is uneventful. Railroading people into stuff, just like always. Fuck you, Dad! I can't wait to see what Pokemon live down in Area Zero. Let's go! Uh, you don't have a Maraid on, bro. That girl, is she, like, incapable of fear or what? <laughs> Lobotomy. I guess we better go, too. Where we dropping, boys? <laughs> Can't ride Maraid on here. Zoe, ready for the worst? Yep. Good, that's all we needed to hear. Get out of that Pokemon of yours and we'll be off. <clears throat> it isn't flying, it's falling with style. A yaw. <laughs> He's like, hey yo. <laughs> What's the matter with it? <laughs> Scared of heights. That's what I'd say. Oh, well, no wonder. He's like, ah, uh, no. <laughs> but no need to be scared if we go together. It's not how that works. God damn it, I keep fucking <laughs> saying it ahead. <laughs> what if I just completely missed my ride? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's dangerous! Yeah, you just like stay up there like... Well... I'll, I'll, I'll see you, I'll see you, I'll see you at the end credits, I guess. <laughs> the music is cool. 
Arvin's got that 50 ton grip. Whoa. Does this not look like episode one of Made in Abyss? Let's let that sink in. And now I'm back here again. <sighs> I think I might have died once or twice there. I get ya. It's okay, bud. You'll be alright, bruh. It's literally the abyss. <clears throat> it chose to go back into its ball? It's probably just hungry or something. Give it a subway. <laughs> I'll make it. Wait a second. Where's the student council girl? Uh, she fell off. L plus ratio, she fell off. Well, she's gone. You don't think she... Everyone, you have to see this. Area Zero is amazing. Come on already. I, I guess your ability would be own tempo, huh? Ha, <laughs> nice. Nice Pokemon reference, Penny. Biometric identification in progress. Four humans identified. Condition satisfactory. Vital signs all within normal range. It appears you were able to make the descent without being harmed. Why does he sound like a fucking computer, dude? Ha, huh, yeah, sure. Smooth sailing. Who could possibly complain about a landing like that? Shut up, son. That is good. <laughs> I had concerns you might fail, given the crudeness of the only available access method. Hmm? I think your dad's sarcasm detector needs fixing. Oh, you're worried about us? That's so sweet. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nimona brain dead. You should now make your way to me at the areas at the Zero Lab in the deepest part of Area Zero. However, the entrance to the lab is barred by four locks installed on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. The fuck? Four locks? On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. Okay. At each station, you'll be able to disable one of the locks. Do so as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. Alright. Let's disable the four locks and get into that lab. Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? Really? Really, Nintendo? Come on, time to find out a way to the deepest part of Area Zero. Okay. There better be some cool fucking Pokemon here, dude. I swear to God. What do we got? Oh, cool. Meta chance. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's see. Oh, you can't ride my ride on here. Oh, shit. Okay. Just gonna run around, I guess. Is there an item hidden back here? <laughs> that scared the fuck out of me. What? Hold up. What is this near automata? What the fuck? This is some near music, dude. though okay shit oh my god dude this game has dude this <laughs> this, this game has no right for this music to go this hard this is like some near shit Holy fuck. Oh my god, dude. Toby Fox and Nintendo going crazy on this. Oh, I got Leaf Storm. Nice. 
Hold on, do I have a Venom at? Oh, uh, Venomoth rather, sorry. I do already, okay. Naughty mint, oof. Dude, dude, this game has, this game has no right to have music this good. I'm telling you, it's like actually insane. Holy fuck, dude. We got gold up, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. Oh, hydro pump. Nice. This is like a weird mix between Nier and like something from like Okami, you know? It's like Nier and Okami put together. Or like Xenoblade even. Oh, hello, Raichu. Oh my lord, this music. I can't. Guys, I can't. This music! Are you hearing this music? Like... Excuse me? This is a Pokemon game! Why is it so good? Oh my lord! It's like actually stupid, dude. Oh my god, are you hearing this bass? My lord, sir. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna try and catch this Raichu. That is such a filthy bass. Fuck me. Hold on, I'm trying to catch this fucking Raichu. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me... Let me just do liquidation on it. Is this gonna- is this really about to be the first Pokemon game that I buy the fucking soundtrack to? Cause I am- I'm this close to doing it. Holy fuck, dude. Hold on, this Raichu's giving me a hard fucking time. Boom, got it. <laughs> My goopy goblin musician brain just like can't handle this music. It's so good. Okay. Uh, no, that's a gold duck. <laughs> wow, that giraffe is really on the. <laughs> um, oven, oven, 
Oven! <laughs> He's just fucking dying, dude. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. I can't go this way. He's taking the quick route. He took the elevator down. <laughs> All right, hold on. We got to go down for a second. Uh, I've already got you, right? Yeah. He's like, go on without me. Uh, Maridon doesn't want to come out, so we have to run around here, I guess. On foot. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fix the... Fix it back to numerical order, order just so it makes it easier. We have 233. I think what we... Yeah, I think the plan is for today... Is, if I can, I want to try and beat the story today. Um, I assume this is the last part of the story, right? Uh, yeah, so we beat the story today, um, and then we will... And then next stream, we will try and complete the decks. And then that'll be it. I got Venomoth already. Because I'm going to need your guys' help for the Scarlet exclusives, obviously. Oh, we got a Shiny Stone. Nice. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Oh, hello. What the fuck is that? Do I have you? I do not. Okay. It is an absolute, can I just say, it is an absolute crime that a soundtrack this good is being hidden behind such a buggy game. It kind of fucking sucks. Shit. Oh, good. Yeah, I really hope they patch the game up too, man. For real. Fuck's sake. I really want this Braviary, but it's giving me a hard time. Uh, hopefully Shadow Claw doesn't kill it. Or unless it doesn't affect- okay. <laughs> God damn it. Tiger cut, maybe? Okay, nice, 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 nice. That works. Come on. Just get in the ball. Okay. You know what? I believe in Pokeball Supremacy. Watch, Pokeball Supremacy. Fuck you. No, there's the aerial ace. <laughs> Alright, great ball? Great ball supremacy? Great ball supremacy! <laughs> That's what we wanted. <laughs> cool, got it. Uh, okay. I will heal you up real quick. Boop. 
Luckily, I bought a bunch of revives. Okay, let's get it going. Another Raichu. Damn, this area is cool. So, Penny, how'd you wind up friends with Zoe? Wow, this is some real, like, Xenoblade shit where the characters just, like, talk to each other while you're running around the world. Speaking of which, I, I still gotta finish Xenoblade 3. I started playing that ages ago and I still haven't finished it. Yeah, except there's no voice acting, exactly. Oh. Flare Blitz, nice. Yeah, so I really want to finish Xenoblade 3 because so far it's a really good game. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying Xenoblade 3 quite a bit. Oh, Pichu fur. Nice. Alright, I guess this way is the way to go for starters. Yeah, I guess we're going here. Nice. Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. Finish it on stream? Nah, I'm already like... I'm already like 60% of the way through the game. Off stream. <laughs> that must be one of the buildings the Professor was talking about. Oh yeah, what were they called? Radish stations? Research stations. You fucking Claude. Huh. <laughs> well, I was close. Wow, you have such a great memory, Penny. Alright, Nimona the dick sucker. What's great is my con common sense compared to you lot, apparently. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Dream! Oh, shit. It's that thing. I wanted one. That's a Pokemon La Primera uses. I didn't know that species could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, sorry. Let's take it on together. Oh. <coughs> ah, fuck. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's fuck them up. What level is it? 62? Eh. I can take it on. Oh, good thing I learned liquidation. Okay. <laughs> Didn't have to do anything, apparently. Never mind. <laughs> the mode is just like, let me handle it. Are there going to be a lot more of these rare Pokemon down here, you think? I don't know. You think that was something? Please. You've got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Wow, patronizing much? Oh my god, just fuck already. Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. God, the sexual tension, dude. Fuck. She's like, let's do it together. Just one-shots him. Oh, there we go. That's the entrance. Oh, I was trying to fucking get that item there. God damn it. Oh, there's a bed there to rest, I assume. Wow, are these ancient ruins? What does that say? They look far too recent for that. Nope. Oh. It appears you have reached your first research station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those surveying Area Zero. Oh my god, this legit sounds like Made in Abyss. So that's why there's a bed. 
Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. Zoe, if you would be so kind as to disable the first lock on the lab using that central panel. Okay. Yep. Lock disabled. Three or four locks are still active. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Dad. All right, I guess we can heal up. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. One bed for poor, four people. We better squeeze in, boys. All right, knowing that, uh, I probably shouldn't have used my... Wait, what was that teleportation thing? What was that teleportation thing? Should we go there or what? Oh, for later. Okay. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's keep going. Ooh, ice terror shot. Nice. Wait, do we have you? Did I... Do I... Have I caught a Lycan Rock? Oh, I have. Okay. Camping flashback again. Yeah. Read the books? Read the books where? Oh, inside the research station, you mean? In the station? Okay, I bet. <clears throat> uh, here? Thanks to my prototype Terror Orb, I secured corporate funding for my research and made a laboratory in the lighthouse near Cabapoco. Someday, though, I'll return to the crate and resume my study of these crystals. Okay. We've determined that this energy crystallization is linked to the being we call... The interlocking hexagonal plates that compromise... ...shell must somehow cause this phenomenon, which I've dubbed terrestrializing. Ooh, lore. Okay, so there is a... There is a Pokemon that is responsible for the terrestrializing. And it's got hexagonal shit. Obviously, they're talking about Mewtwo. <laughs> yeah, I know my Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going down. God damn, this area is fucking huge. Max Ethan, nice. Everyone knows it's Mewtwo. Every time something goes bad, blame Mewtwo. Clearly. I think we've got most of the Pokemon here now, right? It's, it's Mewtwo or Deoxys. Doesn't matter. Oh, there's the second one. Okay. Can we go down here? Whee! Let's slide on over here just in case we miss an item. No item here? Okay. Whoa, Nimona just fucking disappeared. Alright, cool. <laughs> I fucking love that this is Pokemon music. It's actually ridiculous. They just went all out with this one. Alright, second one. 
Second research station. About time, too. Mewtwo slept with my wife. How fucking dare he. Sorry to hear that, man. <clears throat> Whew. Let's, let's head in and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. <laughs> I'm just full of surprises. I have asked me, you asshole. That wasn't a compliment, you know. What? That is not a deli bird, brah. What is that? It's like a mecha deli bird. Deli? Robo deli bird. Oh my gosh, so cute. Da -da 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 Deli bird. Zoe, it's battle time. Uh, we killing Robo Deli bird? What is that? It's not like an evolution of Deli bird. What the fuck is that? Iron bundle. Qua. Hey, water absorb. Fuck you. Oh shit, sorry, Umbra. Uh, I guess I'll just poison jab it. Whoa, the fucking... Ah! Alright, come on, fuck it up. There we go, nice. Oh, I wanted that. Man. No, you can't cat it. You can't catch it. It's a. It's considered a trainer fight. Seriously, what was that? Don't think scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of mechanical, looking for a deli bird, wasn't it? Yeah. No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that, and I'm done for. Five Nights at Freddy's in a nutshell. <clears throat> Next Toho movie is Godzilla vs. Mecha Deli Bird. I would watch that, unironically. Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Sick! I want to read the books. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon? I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these. One of these what? These nuts! <laughs> Got he! Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began, began, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these compact, cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it is biologically separate, to say nothing of it treads of iron. Oh yeah, that's the, the Titan Pokemon we saw, right? Monsters of Area Zero. So they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think, Zoe? I don't think they're regular Pokemon, bro. Hmm, maybe. They definitely do look different, at least. I've never seen any of them in a Pokedex, either. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Professor! Some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are future Pokémon that lived in a distant day we have yet to see. Ayo? What? Future Pokémon? What? That's awesome! Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. Uh, are you the professor? No, I didn't fucking think so. Shut your mouth. The Zero Lab <laughs> I've located contains a time machine. It summons the future Pokemon to this place. We got time travel in a Pokemon game? Oh, I mean, I guess we did do a little bit of time traveling. 
uh, in, in the earlier games too, but still, this is weird. This is like some Dialga and Palkia shit, dude. So the thing my dad spent forever researching down there. He actually got it working? Indeed. The cost was catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine? You mean you can actually travel to and from the future? It is theoretically possible to travel to the future. However, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Oh shit. Well, that's horrifying. Dad, you... You son of a bitch. <laughs> Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... Don't know who you are. If possible, I would like us to speak when we meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Zoe. Please use the central panel here and disable the the lock on my lab. Huh. Okay, this is getting interesting. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey Zoe. You know that book he told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. <laughs> no shit, really. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one he f expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think he should be the one to carry it. Oh, okay. Sweet. Cool. Take care of it for me, okay, Zoe? It's like, whoops, I just pissed on it. Uh, give me a second, guys. I gotta take another piss because my bladder is the size of a peanut. So I will be right back. Sorry about that. <clears throat> All right, let's read some of the books, shall we? The crystal's power is tremendous. Their unstable output made our corporate back as fret, but... If we can harness this energy, it will open up research possibilities we'd only dreamed of. At last, paradise will be ours to create. Are we... Are we going up against the Illuminati? What the fuck is this? At last, I can resume work on the Terra Project. I'll move my research to the lab's, uh, Zero Lab this month. My team will be smaller, but no matter. The strong influence of the crystal makes our experiments much more unstable. Okay. Interesting. Hmm.
Oh my lord. Gimme. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I love this fucking evolution. Please, please. Yes. Let's go. <clears throat> Got that for a giraffe. For a giraffe. Damn, he's 10 feet tall. He's a big boy. Oh, fuck. It's like he's wearing a hoodie. Yeah, dude, the, his tail ate him. You stole his mother? Fuck you. Uh, okay. I guess we are heading down this way now? This is getting rather interesting in terms of law. Oh. I don't think I have you yet, do I? I also need to get a Sir skin, I'm pretty sure. Masquerade, that's it. Yeah, because I, I remember earlier on in the game, we tried to get a Sir skin and it just wasn't working because the game was just fucking glitching out or whatever. <laughs> but, alright, we got a Masquerade. I like Masquerade, it's really cute. Let's see, do we have Surskit? Oh, we do have Surskit. Okay, never mind. Cool. And that's it then. We don't need to get a uh, we don't need to get a Surskit. Good shit. Grab that. Ooh, aerial ace. Good TM. Quick ball supremacy, boys, I'm telling you. Oh, I've been teleporting like a DBZ character. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Teleports behind you. Nothing personnel, kid. Yeah, this area is huge. It's massive. I think there was an item here, right? Yep. Got it. Alright. There we go, it's the third research station over here. How's the gimmick all coin hunting? I will <laughs> I will deal with that after I finish the story portion of this game. It's not going great. I think we have like 150, 200? We need 999, I know that. Ah! Scared me. Giraffe! Oh, come on, I couldn't get away. <sighs> Let me get away! Oh, I don't have a Corviknight yet? Thought I did. Quick ball supremacy, go! Quick ball supremacy. Nice. <clears throat> yep. 
Yeah, Corviknight's pretty sick. Don't even have a Rookie D or a Corva Squire. <laughs> Just went straight to a Corviknight. Was it this way? Oh yeah, there it is, there it is, nice. All right, another research station. <clears throat> All right, what other weird fucking Pokemon are we gonna fight now? Nice, we get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out at us again, 100% guaranteed. Haha, <laughs> Penny, such a worrywart. Huh? Oh, there it is. <laughs> see? See? Wait a sec. This is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. Saw? <laughs> saw. So it was a future Pokemon all along? Whoa, you've battled one of these before, Arvin? That looks seriously strong. Yeah, I want one. Well, yeah, well, Zoe and I are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. Yeah, fuck yeah, let's go. I don't think I can catch this, guys, because it's treated as a trainer battle. Like a scripted trainer battle. Well, I can see the world below me. <laughs> I don't know if I was allowed to see that. <laughs> well, at least I know there's an underworld now. I mean, I guess there is a huge fucking hole right there, so it makes sense. Ah! It is a pretty fucking cool... Like a Mechadon fan, it's sick as fuck. <laughs> Yay! See that? Victory's ours! Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Urban Mystica came down from here. You two got to meet one of those Pokemon before our crater get together? Jealous! Uh, if we got things from the literal future roaming around Paldia, that's a major problem. Isn't Professor Tura doing anything to keep them under control? How could he let this happen? Let me guess, he's masterminding everything. Yeah, right. Because it's not like the oh-so-brilliant Professor Tura ever messes up. Come on, Zoe. Let's get into that research station. All right, I need to read some more lore, bro. It's all in the Keikaku, dude. It's all in the fucking Keikaku. And made it to station number three. How are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Hmm. What's up, girl? You feeling rough, Penny? Oh, no, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine. The Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time from the future, right? So what about Miraidon? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of these future Pokemon? Um, I don't know, Penny. I don't know if you know what Mirai in Japanese is. But if you do, it's not a surprise. <laughs> Huh. I think you're onto something. It is kind of giving off future vibes. Even its name sounds futury. <laughs> Wait a sec, I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin! You had Miraidon's balls. I mean, ball. And you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Ugh. You still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everyone's little star pupil. Guess I've got no choice then but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon, Miraidon, that is... It was found by my dad when he was working on his time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Professor! Maridon, which I entrusted to Zoe, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the future by the time machine. Seriously? Though analysis of its genetic makeup, as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact a futuristic form of Cyclozar, the Pokemon commonly ridden in this region. 
Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time. But I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Maridon. Huh? You mean there's another one around here somewhere? Yes, but you have to buy the game Pokemon Scarlet Edition. Uh, Maridon is region locked, unfortunately. And he's like, what? <laughs> what if the family, the other one, could still be somewhere in Area Zero waiting to finally be reunited with Amaridon? A heartwarming family reunion. Exactly. Imagine how thrilled they'll be if we can get the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. <laughs> Not that I had any. <laughs> Fuck my dad. If we could proceed, Zarya, please disable the next lock using the central panel there. Okay. Is this their way of trying to get us to buy both games? Well, fuck, man. It might, or it might just work. Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue on to the final research station. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal up first, and then I'm gonna read some lore. You know. <clears throat> Our time machine research has yielded a triumph, a Pokemon from the distant future. I've named it Maridon. I was expecting one new life to treasure. I was expecting one new life to treasure, but what fortune to be blessed with this gift as well. Alright. Cool. The lore is coming. <clears throat> okay. Uh, is it in the hole or what? Is it in here? Or is it over there? I guess we'll go check out this area first. I assume it's in the cave. Oh, there's another cave entrance there. Hold on, I want to go check out this cave. See if there's any new Pokemon we, need, we can catch. Oh, shit. Hold on. I want to catch you. Oh, wait. Do I already have you? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's just the fucking dark like Enron. Damn, I thought it was a Zoroark. Okay, I got everybody else, I think. Oh my god. Yo, 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 yo. Fuck yes. Whoa, what the fuck? I am juggalous. I haven't seen this guy yet. <laughs> it's like a mech version of Hydreigon, right? Have we... I don't think we've met this guy yet, right? <laughs> Did I accidentally, uh, skip ahead? Okay, nice. That's a crit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Now I'm limited to time. Fuck. Oh, no. Now I have limited time. Okay, hold on. Dust Bowl, please. I beg of you. Dust Bowl. Please just get it. Come on, Dust Bowl, don't fail me! My man! Whoo! Abuna! Abuna! Whoo! Dust Bowl came in clutch, dude. Abuna! Sweet. That was fucking close. Fucking move, Arvin. Okay, I think we're good for this cave. I think we needed the one that we uh, came here to get, so uh, let's go get. Let's uh, let's go into the story.
into big cave. Out of little cave into big cave. What was that? Oh, it's a flower guy. It's another Raichu. Oh my god, hello Espeon. Hello Espeon, I love you. Oh, and it's a crit? My oh, man. Let's go. Easy clap, boys. Cool, I got Espeon and Umbreon, which are easily the two biggest pain in, pains in the ass when it comes to evolutions. Any Pokemon that requires happiness to evolve is so fucking annoying. Because it's so time consuming. Oh, yo! It's Glamora. Hell yeah, give me that. I know, if we can get Sylveon, then everything is good. Damn. Whoa, no sludge wave? Wow, that was a crit. <laughs> okay. Uh... Guess I'll Mega Hornet just to get it down a bit. Okay. Oh my god. I just need to get it down to like a yellow at least and then just use a dust ball. Or I can just fucking run and try a quick ball again. Damn, this thing's tanky, dude. I, I know I'm hitting it with something that's not very effective, but still. Alright, just get it down to yellow, at least. There we go, that's fine. And then I'll use Dust Ball. Oh, there's a Mecha Deli Bird! There's a Mecha Deli Bird behind me. Get it. Fuck you. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna get it down to the red, actually. Let me get it down to the red. There we go. Alright. This should do it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That Mecha Deli Bird is just staring at me, just like, come on, you know you want to catch me. <laughs> come on, Glimora, stop being a bitch. Please. Please. Yes. Yes. Thank God. <sighs> Alright, sweet. Thank fuck. There we go, got Glamour. Sweet. Alright, let me heal up real quick. And I'm gonna get you, bitch. Make a deli bird. Wow, not even close. Okay. Uh, I just want to get it down a little bit, so poison jab maybe? Whoa. Okay, good, 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 good. good. Do another one of those. Get 
Gonna count to the red. Nice, perfect. And then use a dust ball on it. That should do it. Boom, bam, bibbity, pow. Fuck. Holy fuck, dude. Alright, shit. This thing's fucking me up. Uh... Guess I'll just use Pormont. I just need to catch it, come on. There we go, got it with a crit, nice. Got her with the crit. Iron bundle. Cool. Wow, there must be a lot of iron Pokemon. Alright, let's go. Done sparse. Oh wait, is that another mecha? It is another mecha. Another mecha. So many mechas. Oh my gosh, look at all these huge, gorgeous crystals. They go all the way to the bottom. Yeah, we kind of saw it earlier because the game was glitching out. <laughs> <laughs> One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. Oh, good call. Watch your step. <laughs> Thanks. So the professor's down there somewhere, waiting for us. Oh. And that's fine. Totally fine. All right, team, watch yourselves and let's get to the bottom of this thing. Okay. This place looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down here like the stories say. Yeah, this place is like something from a whole other world. Makes you feel like maybe you already died and went somewhere. Is it just me or do the crystals here give off the same glow as when Pokemon terrestrialize? There's got to be some sort of connection. Okay. Only one way to find out. Come on, everybody. Let's keep moving. We gotta go all the way down. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Excuse me. All right, let's see if there's any other cool Pacamans here. Oh, there is a uh, Dunsparce that is glitching out of this world. Oh, what the fuck? He came out of nowhere. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bro, come on. Leave me alone. I don't need you. I already got you. Please. Get the fuck away from me. Actually, get away from me, please. Thank you. Two premier balls? Cool, I'll take that. Dog trio. Alright. Emu versus Australian, who will win? Oh, hello. I'm just going to catch a revolution because I don't fucking care. I just want the Dunsparce in my... decks. Okay. <laughs> Great. Ah! 
Wow, that did nothing. Uh, poison jar. Oh shit! Chill. Oh, nice crit. Okay, let's see if I can get it here. Alright guys, I don't really care about the three segment one to be honest. I just want to get it to add it to my decks. I'm not going to use it. <laughs> Oh my lord, Pooper! Chill! Oh my god, this thing's gonna kill itself with double edge if I don't catch it. Well, at least it got it down to red for me. Please, just get in the ball. Oh my god! Please, just get in the fucking ball, dude. I beg of you. Yes, thank god. Daily was like, yeah! Just get in the fucking ball, Shinji, for Christ's sake. Cool. Got it. Sweet. Did done, Sparse? Cool. You, I'm never using you again, so see ya. fuck is that thing? What is that? Oh, is that the pre-evolution? I don't think I have it yet. Yeah, Glimit. I don't have it yet. Okay, cool. Use Condom. <laughs> wow. Level 62. Holy fuck. God damn it. Um... Okay, it's super effective. Shit. Great. I was trying to catch it. Oh, luckily, there's plenty more. Come here. <clears throat> Come on, just catch it. Quick ball. Quick ball it in. Boom. One. Dude, quick ball... The quick ball supremacy is just not working today. Quick balls are just not working for me. Oh, fuck. This is going to take too long, dude. Let me choose Megahorn here. Can you breed that robot Pokemon? I don't think so. Okay, this should hopefully do it. Dusk Ball. Boom. Please, just get in. I just want you for the decks. I already have your evolution, thank god. Alright. Cool. Phew! Sweet. Just wanted you for the decks, baby.
All right, let's keep going. We've got all of you guys out of the way. Get gone. All right, here we go. Here we are. Made it. Oh, I actually don't have this guy yet. The double head? Oh, fuck. No, not you, Dreepy. Not you. I don't need you. Oh, fuck's sake. Stop. Thank you. I want you. <clears throat> Quick ball time. Nailed it. <laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah. Oh my god, that's a shiny. Holy fuck, that's a shiny. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It just flew past me. Wait, 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 wait. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. There's a fucking shiny dreepy, dude. <laughs> Holy fuck. Please, just quick ball it. Just quick ball it. Please. Oh, oh, you were so close. You were so close. Oh, fuck. I don't want to kill it. What do I do? I don't want to kill it. Spam dust balls. Oh, repeat ball. That's right. I've already... Where's the repeat ball? Seven repeat balls. Let's go, boys! First shiny! Hell yeah! Let's fucking go! And it's a shiny Dreepy! You remember last time? Do you remember last time we we tried we went to that Dreepy raid and we tried to get a shiny Dreepy and failed? It came back, boys! It came back! Oh my god, the prophecies were true. They said, don't give up on the shinies. That karma, dude, let's fucking go. Oh my god, that was so cool. The way it just, like, showed up. <laughs> oh my god. Holy fuck, dude. Oh. Alright, sorry. Whoa, what happened? This place is a mess. It looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. Yeah, Professor, y you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Coming in? I'm s s s s s s s s s s I knew it! He's already dead! What the heck? Stop that, you're creeping us out! Hello, ch hello. Child, children, and children, and children, children. Initiating restart. The professor must be having some, some weird connection problems or something, huh? Well, it definitely was- it was definitely weird, at least. Almost like, I don't know. If you meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I've still got goosebumps and all. Yeah, that was pretty fucking creepy. Okay. Dun 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 <laughs> My new assistant has intellect and technical stills to rival my own. A bit rigid at times, but I've got no serious complaints. Productivity has doubled. <coughs> we even brought in a second Maridon via the machine, though this one had proved aggressive. Yo? I need more people, more time. 
That woman walked out not long after the boy was born. I need another set of hands, but could they be trusted? And how long would it take them to even understand? If only there were two of me. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. transmission there seems to be some signal interference that's not what that was what do you mean Arvin the locks have all been disabled at last please make your way now to the zero lab which lies at the very bottom of area zero oh this is creepy this is so creepy very creepy, but also shiny dreepy. Pretty fucking hyped that we managed to grab a shiny right before the end of the game. <laughs> that was sick as fuck. Oh my god, I can't believe we actually got that. Go, we tried for like an hour last stream and like we couldn't get it just because the game was just so fucking like laggy and whatever, but holy fuck, we actually got it. Wait, what's this? There's some sort of plate inscribed with a mysterious symbol. Which way should we go? This way? Oh wait, this isn't a way. This is just an item. Poison Terror Shard. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's keep going, shall we? <laughs> Yo, that fucking dog is living on the edge. Literally living on the edge. I want to grab a bunch of these items, guys. That's fine. Uh, also, this guy's living on the edge, too. Chill, bro. Yo, Luke, what's up, dude? Yeah, we're almost at the end of the game. Even Pokemon struggle living in this area. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh, any hidden items here? No. Okay. Dude, the, this part of the game is like a totally other game. It's like a totally new game. It's kind of wild. Oh, there it is. Okay, I just want to make sure we're not missing any items around here because I do not want to come all the way back here. Okay, we good. Alright, let's go. There it is. <clears throat> All right. Whoa! Have we finally reached the deepest part? We made it. Ready to see if these legends of treasures down here for real. Is the one piece here? <laughs> yeah, right. That's just fluff they write to fill the textbooks. Is it tour? Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. That's where you are, right, Professor? 
But wait, why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? The crystals here in Area Zero possess a peculiar energy. This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. It is the same energy that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize. So this entire building's been terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Arvin. The professor implied something important about Terra Orbs just now. They're made from the crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Qua? Indeed, though no, not many know it. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gates of the Zero Lab should now open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted with the dangerous Pokemon inside. They will likely make a break for freedom. Uh, legendary? Question mark? With the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves well, then open the gate. <laughs> oh, okay. You got me and Zoe here. Don't matter what we're up against, we'll be fine. Ha! <laughs> well then, that puts all my worries to rest. Okay. We're about to encounter the final boss of the One Piece. Let's save right here. And, uh, yeah. Let's get in. Let's see what it is. Oh. Hold it! What the fuck? We're finally on the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we also have Mariah on help? True dat. Right now he's just being a fucking loser. Yeah, if Mariah were like how we first saw it in the in Inlet Grotto, that'd be huge help. I want to see a battle. <clears throat> uh, but it hasn't even wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero. Or it can't enter its battle form in the first place. But it's really strong. I know it is. It ate all those Urban Mystica we found, too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. Nah, my boy's a bitch, bro. And Area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring it out of its ball now, maybe it'll be able to find, find its family, too, right? That's pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. Hmm, I don't know. Go on, Zoe. Let Maridon out. Alright. If you'll come out. He just fucking has a panic attack. <laughs> It's like, ah! <laughs> All right, come on, Zoe. Now that we've got Mariah on ready, it's time to open that gate. All right, pop it open. Oh, I got one of those too. Oh, yo? Is there another Mariah on? Oh my god, there's two Maridons. The family reunion, it's happening! Whoa, no way! It's like, fuck you! Oh, look at it, it looks so scared! No, something's not right. It's like, ah, oh. What's up? Where are you on? It's like, son, what took you so goddamn long? Get in here. I'm going to smack the shit out of your ass. Dude is just a purple dick. Oh my God, bro. Really? He's that purple schlong, dude. Huh? What's wrong? Are you bummed that your heartwarming family reunion got cut off so quickly? Nomona, you are so brain dead. I love you. Are you joking? There's nothing heartwarming about it. We were this close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Wait, for real? Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, Nomona, dumb dumb. Just look at Mariadon. Poor thing's terrified. Guess that other one isn't exactly his pal. Yeah, that other Pokemon was giving off some real bad vibes. Uh, not that you should worry about a thing. Uh, 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 not that you should worry a thing about any of that. 
Once we get you back into your battle form, I'm sure you'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe against that jerk. If you know, if you want to. Tschüss. Aw. So, sorry, guess that doesn't really help, huh? Do you think that other Maridon was one of the dangerous Pokemon the Professor warned us to watch out for? But didn't the Professor say the dangerous Pokemon would come out from inside? You mean from inside the gate? We just... Do my eyes deceive me? Or is that a fucking Mecha Makuhita? Sorry, a Hariyama. <laughs> I'm tripping. That's a Mecha Hariyama. I need that. What the? Oh my god, I need that Mecha Hariyama, dude. Whoa, there's a lot of them! We're surrounded! And it's pretty obvious they're not here to roll out a family friendly welcome mat. There's no way we can handle this many. And don't tell me they're all future Pokemon. We've got a little disaster on our hands here. Look, even that fella's ready to bail. Then I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, Zoe, let's do this together. Zoe's so like, hell no, bro. I'm fucking. I'm out of here. See ya. All right, let's fight him, I guess. Uh, liquidation. Uh, I don't think I can catch this, guys. It's not letting me catch it. Sorry, I like and rock took it out. Got he. Yeah, I think we have to clear these out first, right? Wow, they're strong. Now this is a worthwhile challenge. Oh my god, you're so brain dead. <laughs> All right, let's go. Duo time. That's so cool, dude. The Mecha Hariyama? That's sick as fuck. Iron hands. Cool. Oh, damn. It is fucking beefy, dude. Whoa, it's, it's electric? Damn Yowie hands, though. Oops, sorry, Umbron. <laughs> Finish it off, bro. Oh, come on. Ah! <laughs> if you like, catch these hands for real. Oh, I almost killed Umbreon there. Holy shit. Hell yeah, dude. Ugh, the future must be terrifying. <laughs> You're telling me. The fuck out of here. Oh no, they're running away. Yeah, and who asked? <laughs> if these Pokemon get out, we're going to have a gigantic mess on our hands. We got to go after them, Penny. Why me? Wow. <laughs> GG's, Penny. I hope the two of them can handle their part. But at least the crowd's been thinned out now. Guess it's up to us to deal with what's left. All right, let's go for this one. All right. I'm a ball stiff. I am jugulous. Uh, let's just let's just do stab. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck. Well, I guess uh, my boss stiff's got it. Don't worry, don't worry about it. I, uh, my boss stiff's got it. Nope, never mind. <laughs> How did I poison it? It's Mecha. 
Oh, whatever. I take that. My ball stiff. <laughs> oh, it's not steel. Hey. <laughs> nice. Dark flying. Oh. Okay. See the power of friendship. Oh, fuck off. What is this fairy tale? Has perfectly in sync. All thanks to our titan hunting together. Still scared, huh? You worry you might have to face that other one of your kind? Well then, let me take on some of the burden. These stragglers should be nothing. Me and my bust if you can take them. Bruh. So Zoe, you take your partner there and go take care of business. Alright, thank god. I really needed to shit. <laughs> Glad to see you got some faith in us at last. My bust if can't wait to battle either. Oh, damn, you got... Yo, what that mouth do? Right on. You really ruined my whole childhood, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right on's like, who asked? But it's not like seeing you cowering and scared out of your wits makes me feel any better about it. You got amazing powers. If you just use them. So you got us too. So, so, so don't you even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave. Stand up and fight. All right, you just dump trauma on us like that? Okay, I'll see how it is. All right. Here we go. Oh, I can't ride my ride on here. Okay. Let's just go in then. Let's see what fucked up shit awaits. We're going into the butthole. Oh. Oh, shit. There he is. Human presence detected within zero lab. Oh, he's he's a robot, isn't he? Let me guess. He's a robot. He's a fucking robot. He's the T-100. Deactivating sleep. Wait, hold on. I have I have a robot voice. Wait, where is it? Where's the robot voice? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got the robot voice. Yeah. Deactivating sleep mode. Hello, Zoe. Thank you for coming. Oh, he is not happy. He's like, yo, fucking come at me, dude. <laughs> you gonna catch these hands? Oh, shit. Is that a muscle? No, back to your ball. Lower the pitch a bit more? Alright. No, lower the pitch. That is... That is one far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Your ride on flat area zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Turo. What? No way! What are you talking about? I am an artificial intelligence the Professor created, imbued with his memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. The real Professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. I fucking knew it! I called it! I was like, he's dead, isn't he? I fucking called it, dude. Damn, death in a Pokemon game. The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original Professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the Professor wanted nothing more than for the Maridon to survive and thrive. That is why he threw himself in front of your Maridon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Clavel and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Zoe. The reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Qua? Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. Yo, this... This story in this game is kind of... It's kind of fucked. 
Holy crap. You gonna give me that Master Ball, though? That'd be really sweet. I'll also grab this. This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. Alright. <clears throat> wow, what a weird story. This is kind of cool, though. Zoe, it is truly is a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? Uh, what happened to the real professor? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, his physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I am afraid that this fact may be difficult for his son, Arvin, to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything else? Uh, what is an AI, really? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of these calculations are expressed by this mechanical body built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals that make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. What kind of question is... Mm, what is AI really? <laughs> I know. The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. Wow, that sounds handy as fuck. When he was alive, Professor Turo had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age. What you might call future Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw future Pokemon to this time. Is there anything else? What is it you really want? Robot Turo. The original professor had a dream of a world in which future Pokemon might live alongside present-day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon have gained a strange power due to their adaptations in the distant future. And this power has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this current age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the future Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Iron Treads. Eventually, they'll break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero, and run rampant across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the Professor, and yet, I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original Professor ever devised. Zoe. You have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Turo once cherished. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate your willingness to help. Oh, we're here. We have reached the lowest level. So I have to destroy the time machine because... Turo was insane according to his AI counterpart. Ooh, this is a pretty room. Whoa. Holy fuck. Yo, this room's fucked. Behold. This is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. Oh, this is this is kind of freaky, dude. All right. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Violet Book. It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places. He loved that volume since childhood. 
If you place the Violet Book upon the pedestal here, you will be able to stop the time machine. There is just one issue. If you try to stop the machine, I will most likely attack you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know, I guess. Artificial beings that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Paldia region. Which is to say, oh, I'm the strongest, so uh, watch the fuck out. That was a creepy smiley just in. Having seen that bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. <laughs> Look at his mouth, he's like... <laughs> Close mouth. <laughs> Once you have readied yourself for this fight, please place the Violet Bulk upon the pedestal. Alright, well fuck. Um... Are we good for levels? We're all just short of level 69, I guess. So, let's just go for it. Alright. Fuck it. Let's go for it. Do it. Do it. All right. Access denied. Oh, fuck. It's like, here I come. It's up to you now, Zoe. Whoa. Please defeat me. <laughs> fuck me up. At, at last. Oh, it's got a fucking Master Ball, dude? <laughs> oh, this is so creepy. AI Tura, holy fuck. Dude, what is this? What's going on? This is the most near shit I've ever seen in my life, dude. This is amazing. Oh my god, this is so near! This is so near. I love this. Oh, this is a Volcarona. Dude, this would be scary if you played this as a child. I would be- I would be mortified playing this as a kid. This music! I know for sure, if I played this as like a 10 year old, I would never want to play another Pokemon game after this. This would be so scary. Iron Thorns? Which one's Iron Thorns? I, I assume that's going to be a f grass type, right? Rock Electric? Okay. Damn, he's got six Master Balls as well. Holy fuck. Oh my god, a Mega Tyranitar? I want that so bad! <laughs> I want it! It's a fucking Mega Tyranitar! Holy shit! Oh, I want that! Yo! I want that, dude! Okay, well, fuck. I gotta, I gotta kill this thing first. Uh... Ground electric, right? I guess annihilate.
Yo, this music! Oh my god, dude. This is so fucking epic. Ooh! Yo, some IDM? In a Pokemon game? Oh, this fucker, okay. Let's low kick it. Okay, that's not very effective. Holy fuck. Uh, I guess that's the only thing I got. Bro, this fucking music. Oh my lord. Toby Fox, you did not have to go this hard. Toby, you did not have to go this hard, fam. Wow, this fucking AI. <laughs> oh this fucking AI. Uh, Iron Jugulus. Oh, that's the dragon type, right? Let's do Mary Jane. Oh god. Open air. I thank god the snow stopped. Alright. Come on, get rid of it. There we go. Iron hands. Uh, what is that? Electric fighting, right? So, psychic should do it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this IDM section is so sick. Wow, he's beefy. What the fuck? Come on. Crit? Oh, no crit, alright. Survive. My man. Come on, this should get it. Yes. Let's go! Alright, one more, baby! Iron Valiant. Alright, let's do it. Everything's proceeding within my expectations. I'm afraid the probability of you winning is zero. Oh yeah, we're about to fucking find out! Bitch! Whoa! Is that a Gallade? Walk drive. Oh, good. Its attack is higher. Amazing. Thank you. Uh, Shadow Claw, I guess? Or I could do Bitter Blade to get some of my heal back. Nope, it's faster than me. Great. Okay. Let's see. Fuck. Crunch, I guess. Yeah, it's like a Gallade and a Gardevoir put together and then turn into metal. That's so cool. Alright, let's try Crunch here. Holy fuck.
Um, I think he might actually sweep me here. I think he might actually sweep me. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. What should I do? I do have revives. It's just... Revive Pooper? No, I don't I don't think Pooper's gonna do it. I think No, you know what? I should <sighs> I'm gonna revive Sarage. Oh, Pooper, true. Oh yeah, Fairy's weak to poison, isn't it? All right, let's revive Pooper. Yeah, I don't have any max revives. Okay, that's fine. So then what I'm gonna do instead is Bring out Mary Jane to fully heal Pooper, and then bring out Pooper. So, Hyper Potion Pooper. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. Alright. Oh, fuck. I should have just full healed it. Alright, let's go, Pooper! Poison jab, right? Just needs to survive this. Nice! Get him! Oh. Well, let's survive this hit. Onegaishimasu! Before the carry, boys. Oh, Pooper MVP, boys. Whew. God damn. Oh, my lord. <laughs> He's like, yo, is he gonna explode? <laughs> Zoe! We did it, boys. What is this? Did you already beat all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you really? Thank you for everything. The time machine has finally... He has finally been stopped. You're really not my dad, are you? Yeah, I hate to tell you this, Arvin. Your dad's mad dead, dog. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, look how big you've grown. So proud of you, my... Sorry, you were alone so long, Arv. Dead? Security system failure. Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. Threat to time machine detected. Whoa, what's going on? Hold on, I got one of those. Yo, emergency meeting, boys. Is another army of Pokemon on its way here? It cannot be. What's happening? An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Oh my god, is there a second fucking phase? Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle. What was keeping the time machine running truly all the professor cared about? Locking all Pokeballs except those registered to Turo's ID. Whoa, what the fuck? 
Oh, yo. Holy fuck. What's going on? This is a, this is a children's game. Boys, this is a children's game. What the fuck? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. <laughs> You're challenged by the Paradise Protection Protocol. Oh shit, it's Maridon. No! Poopa! Well then what the fuck? You can't battle without a Pokemon on the field. It's true, our Pokemon won't work. How are we even supposed to battle? Run. Da 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 da. Fuck. All right. <laughs> yeah, some crazy electrical signals jamming our Pokeballs. Even I can't get them open. Uh. Uh. Run. Da 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 da. Fuck. <laughs> That's totally cheating. And you call yourself an adult? Hate to tell you this, Arvin. Adults cheat all the time. Trust me, I would know. Uh, 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 run. Can I run, please? I need a run. I need to run. I need a run. Hold on. He's calling to me. Let's go, boys. Yo, he's ready. The boy is ready. Do it. Oh my God. Let's fucking go, dude. He's about to catch these Mirai on hands, boy. Oh, he's about to catch these fucking hands. It's purple cock versus purple cock. Come at me. Let's go. What does it know? Power Jam, Electro Drift. The user races forward at ultra fast speeds, piercing its target with futuristic electricity. This moves power is boosted more than usual if it's a super effective hit. Is it super effective? I don't know. Let's try that. Oh, this music. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh, it's quad resist. Okay. Um, in that case, power jam. Oh my god, this is so creepy. Hold on, that bass though. Can you hear this bass? <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's let me do a terror blast here, or I might get fucked. What if I just die here? Nope, that didn't do it. Okay. Um. 
Uh, hang in there, Zoe. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going for it. Don't worry. What's Endure again? Oh, yeah, right. We should probably do that. <laughs> Unless it's about to kill me. No, nope, we're Enduring. Oh, that was a good thing I endured. Holy fuck. He took that hit like a champ. Yeah, I would have been fucking dead if I didn't endure. All right, let's max potion this shit. Oh, that base, do you hear that base, boys? Shit. I am like three quarters chub listening to that base. Guys, stop. Hold on a second. Your terror orb is glowing. B -b 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 Bruh. Terrestrialize and finish this off. All right, let's do it, boys. All right, here we go. Oh, fuck. All right. Oh, dragon type Terra Blast? All right, let's do it. Let's do it, boys. What does it look like? Woo! All right, come on. Fuck it up. Wow, that was like a real anime fight. All it took was one hit. Let's go. Uh... You defeated the Paradise Protection Protocol. Hell ye. Yeah, that was probably a scripted fight. Let's be real. <laughs> You did it! It's not going berserk anymore? How... How very astounding... To think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? <laughs> Dad? <laughs> uh, yeah, he definitely looks normal, dude. Yes, a completely unforeseen outcome even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness, showing the wisdom to think for yourselves, the courage to hold faith in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how challenging of a future may await you, I believe you will be capable of walking whatever path you choose for yourself now with pride. I thank you, Zoe. I thank all of you children. But I am afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. Huh? Well, what does that mean? I am sorry. You know, when I was watching you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envy you your freedom. The way that you came together, working in league with your fellows and caring for them. The way that you sought strength and to better yourselves, throwing all you are into your battles. The way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you love. The way that you never cease to seek, nor to fight for, a treasure all your own. A Gigi. Ah. Uh, and the way that you soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I, too, might be as free as you all, free to seek out that which I might treasure above all else, not bound. Your own treasure? The One Piece? As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am inextricably linked to it. So I've made a decision. I will kill myself. I mean, I will use the time machine to journey to the world of the future that I have dreamed of. Kwa? You can't just leave now, right when we finally reach you. 
Yo, it's not his... Nimona, you brain-dead bitch. He's not real. I'm not going only so that... Uh, fuck, fuck. I'm not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that future wall for myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventures? I don't know, man. Arvin, I am sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the Professor, and so I understand better than any. Your father truly loved you. <laughs> Damn, man. Arvin, Arvin's got the shit end of the stick after all this shit, man. You, you can't... You can't just go and say a thing like that now! No. I suppose you're right. I am sorry. Arvin, be right on. Zoe, it is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Dead! <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have laughed there. Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you a Rivaderci. I love JoJo Part 5. That was my favorite JoJo Part <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, he's going Super Saiyan, dog. I'll come back for the milk and cigarettes, I promise. <laughs> Damn. Well, Arvin, how's it like to live in a world without your dad? Too soon? <laughs> How could you just go, Dean? Arvin, you okay, bud? No, I'm not fucking okay. <laughs> Fatherless, any percent. <laughs> Somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. I mean, he was kind of dead to me. I didn't think he would actually be dead, you know. I knew that thing was fake, but it... When it said my name using his voice and wearing his face, even if it was fake, it felt real, you know? And so I just, I... <laughs> he just starts crying. Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. That's, that's okay. Gias. It's like, it's like, toughen up, bitch! Or you're about to catch these hands. I guess Nimona is sad, uh, not Nimona. I guess Miraidon is sad too. Oh, but that battle form. How cool is that? So, no. Arvin, never mind about your sadness. Look how fucking sick this Pokemon look, dog. If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub while it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm gonna die. Hey now, you're an all-star. Let's not skip over the big win here. Zoe and Maridon just saved all of Paldia. Th that's right, you both did amazing. Thanks, Zoe. Yeah, that's my bud Zoe for you. Can we get back to mourning about my dead dad, or no? Okay. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor's gone, I bet he's finally having a real fun adventure of his own in, in of his own in the future. Yeah, thanks, Penny. But, uh, I don't know if you were listening, but he's dead. <laughs> it's just straight six feet under. Straight up dead. So, no, he's not, actually. <laughs> However, the AI version of my dad is having a fucking ball in the future. Real father? Dead as hell. <laughs> what should we do now, Zoe? Let's go home. Let's get the fuck out of here, dog. You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. <laughs> you know when you, like, try and, like, give your friend a compliment or, like, a, a word of encouragement and it just, just does not hit? That was that. <laughs> it's just like, nope, still dead. Still doesn't change the fact. Dad is super dead. Oh my God. Are we... Are we... 
Are we coming? Like, uh, what's happening? What's happening? Oh fuck! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, is it this song that's DMCA? Okay, I'll, I'll just put it down a bit. Not yet. Next song. Okay. Oh, the end credit song? Okay. If we can load up on snacks first, I'm in. Dun, oh, it's the Ed Sheeran song, right. Okay, that's right. Yeah, I forgot Ed Sheeran does the fucking ending song for this. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it down when I hear Ed, Ed's voice. Alright, fine, I guess we're doing this. Oh, this is a wholesome ending, dude. Fuck. Never mind about my dad, it's the friends we made along the way that counts. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. I just love how we're just like, yeah, whatever, your dad's dead. Fuck it. You know? It's not, we gotta run into the sunset still. With the Ed Sheeran song jamming in the background. Oh, fuck. Shut up, Ed. Hey, we did it! Ed, you're kind of fucking this up for me, you know? But, uh, hey, fuck it. We're avoiding the DMCA, it's fine. It's- it's quiet enough. Guys, we did it. We have just beaten at least the story segment of Pokemon Violet. And now, all that's left at this point is, uh, finishing the decks. And then we're done, boys. Okay. Here's my, uh, here's my review of- here is my review of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in terms of just where we are right now. Story? Amazing. Story was great. Actually, probably one of the best stories, uh, or at least one of the most exciting stories in Pokemon in a long time. Like, not since the black and white story has this Pokemon story actually, like, mattered, or, uh, you know, actually been good. Um, <clears throat> in terms of the new Pokemon, designs banger, gameplay, fucking banger. Probably one of the best gameplay loops I've played in a Pokemon game in a long while. And again, only thing that is just an absolute shame is just the fact that graphically and just the way that it runs just, you know, fell under the bar. Fell pretty far under the bar. But it has some of the best music I've ever heard in a Pokemon game. Like, no question. Not There hasn't been a Pokemon game that has come even close to being as good. In terms of music and gameplay loop wise. Honestly, again, as I was saying earlier, and I've said this in uh, a couple of streams before, if they had just nailed the performance issues, dude, if they have, if they had just fixed the performance issues, this would have been probably my favorite Pokemon game. I'm just saying that out right now. Probably would have been my, one of my favorite Pokemon games. If they had just fixed the issues, the performance issues. If they had just not rushed it out for Christmas, it would have fucking been amazing. Um, so I hope that Nintendo and Game Freak know about this. Hey, Toby Fox, my man. Um, I hope they know about this and there's a patch in the future where they fix performance issues because if they do... This might be one of my... It's it's definitely up there. Even with the performance issues so far, it's probably up there in now probably my top three um, Pokemon games. In terms of, like, voice acting and shit like that, I mean, it's a Pokemon game. We don't really need it. Most people skip over the story anyway. And also, it just gives me an excuse to practice my voice acting, so I don't really care about it. But... And they made it actually open world and actually multiplayer. So if they throw in a DLC... And maybe a couple of patches in the in the future, by the time the DLC comes out, dog. It's probably gonna be this like amazing game. Super fucking fun game. And again, I don't blame anybody who plays this game and decides that they don't want to play because of performance issues. I totally get that. That is that is completely up to you. But I was able to see past it and I really enjoyed this game. But yeah, 
that's it for the story, I guess, or unless, unless there's some post-game story. But either way, we're not finished yet because we still have to complete the decks. And we're about, what, a little bit over halfway through the decks, I guess? So I guess we'll do some post-game story and uh, decks, and then we'll finish the decks hopefully by next stream. Yeah. Is the, is the DMCA music gone or what? Okay, good. The DMCA music's gone. <laughs> Only post-game story is raids getting an upgrade? Oh, well then, perfect. Th then that means next stream is going to be just us finishing the decks. And then we can say that we have 100%ed Pokemon Violet and Scarlet. Sweet. Yeah, let's, uh... Alright, we're almost getting to the end here. Thank you, treasured friends. You're welcome, Game Freak. Hey, the squad! <laughs> oh yeah, there's those swords that we have to pull out as well, right? Oh, what's up? Calling students to the director's office. Miss Zoe, Miss Nimona, Miss Master Arvin, and Miss Penny. Oh, okay, hold on. Should we do this part now, or should we save it for the next stream? I think we should save it for the next stream. Alright, guys. That's it for this stream. Fuck. I almost streamed for seven hours today. Holy fuck. But, uh, oh yeah, yeah, we should actually, no. We should do this part so we can save, actually. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We'll, we'll do this part, and then we'll get to the point where we can save. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. Nice. Alright, there we go. Alright, sweet. Cool. Alright, that's the end of that, boys. Um, thanks for hanging out. Oh, It's not been a long stream, holy fuck. Uh, I'm gonna go eat, because I haven't eaten anything at all today, and it's like 8pm for me now. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming out. This was super, super fun. Uh, next stream, we will do whatever uh, post-game story there is, all that kind of stuff. Shoken with the fucking five gift subs straight up. Thank you very much, my boy. Thank you for the last minute of five gift subs. And thanks for uh, sticking out, guys. I appreciate you. Um, there is only one person I know who's live right now, and that is Pete, Premier 2. So let's go raid him, I guess. Premier 2. Alright, cool. We're gonna go raid my boy Pete. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. Go give him your support. Go give him your love. I don't know what the hell he's playing. What the hell is he playing? Oh, he's doing something at Chris's thing. Okay, well there you go. We're gonna go raid Chris and Pete, I guess. Alright guys, have a good one. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, Give a like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. 10 likes and I'll bring Arvin's dead back, uh, dad back from the dead. All right. Cool. Have a good one, guys. See you later. Peace.